your hat. What? Your hat that goes with your costume. We needed to be gone 20 minutes ago, baby. I don't know where it is. Well, this is why I asked you to lay everything out last night so we wouldn't have to run around like this. What's wrong, Mommy? I'm... I'm tired, Em. I'm sorry. Hi, girls. I didn't know you'd be here. I wasn't sure. I can't find my hat, and Mommy's tired. Mommy has a lot going on. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Good. I was thinking about you. Well, I've been thinking about you, too. How's school? Good. We went to a community garden, and I planted vegetables and ate organic food. <laughs> it was good. Yeah? Well, that sounds very healthy. It's Earth Day. Oh, it's Earth Day, and you have a big play to go. This is a big day for you. I hope that you weren't too upset by the way things happened at the wedding. You know, because just things didn't turn out the way that Frank and I had planned, and um, I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay? We're running late, so... Um... I know. You have to get to the play, right? Does, does Betsy Ross know all her lines? I need to find my hat. <laughs> your hat? What, what, the little one that we made together? Didn't we, didn't we pack that in your blue bag? I'll go check. Wait, are you coming to the play, too? Em, I'm sure I'm tell you, it's plenty to... Get your hat. Go on. You don't have to come to the play. I know I don't have to come. I know, What about but, uh, Rafe? I mean, uh, I'm sure he's confused. Shouldn't you be with him? I, he really liked Frank. He liked having a father figure around again, and... Rafe is disappointed. But he told me that he just wants me to be happy. Did you tell him about us? No, I... I don't know what I would say. We really should get going. Okay, well, like I said, I don't think it's a good idea. I really like to go. I know it's awkward, but this... should be about Emma. It shouldn't be about us. You're late. All the kids are changing in the I'm mate. sorry. We had trouble with the costume, and I... <clears throat> it's good to see you again. Emma, let's get going. Wait, I have a favor. Can my friend Natalia have one of the special seats up front? She was supposed to Of course. Today. See you in the auditorium. Sure. You shouldn't have come. I didn't want to disappoint Emma. This isn't about Emma. I'm sorry that I'm making you feel uncomfortable. This isn't about me. It's about you. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you being like this? Be realistic. No, you're, you're being cold. Mean, almost. And I don't get it. I'm trying to be positive in front of Emma so that she doesn't see any of this. But you have no idea what it's like. I can't sleep. My head... I can't think straight for more than a second at a time. Everything's just a jumble. But I know one thing. One thing is very clear to me. And what's that? I couldn't say those vows to Frank because... I love Frank. He's a wonderful person. But saying those things to him would have been a big lie. And leaving him there, standing at that church, was only the second hardest thing I had to do that day. And what was the first? Telling you that I love you. Shh. Telling you how I really feel. I was there when you said it. I know. And I was there when you said do it Do you too. understand? It's one thing to say it. It's what comes after. As yeah, hard as it is to say that, really I don't hard. think you really get it. You can say it to a Gus or to a Frank, but to say it to me, and for me to say it to I you, know. I don't think you've thought this through. But I have, okay? I know what comes after I love you. Really? Because I would love for you to tell me. Hell, okay? Pure hell for you. And let's face it, for me too. And if you knew that, you wouldn't be here right now. I'm, I'm not trying to be insensitive. I know this is a hard time for you. It's good to know. Look, if I sound harsh, it's because I think you need to hear it. 
It doesn't matter if it's 10 minutes after the ceremony or 10 years. The truth is the truth, Livia. Come on, I tell you, have you thought about Rafe? I always think about Rafe. What about Emma? What about me? I haven't been able to think about anything else. I love you, Olivia, but just saying that makes me miserable. Don't put words no, in my mouth. No, it's what I heard. What about your church? What about God? What does he have to say about all this? I'm not making fun of you. I'm bringing up some very real issues. You do not get to say something like this in a vacuum. Trust me. I'm just trying to spare you what I've been through because I've been living with this a long time. We both have. No, but I knew. I've had time to imagine the looks and the guilt and the judgments. I have a plan to catch. You know, we're not, we're not done. No, we, we are, are done. done. Please tell me you understand that we're done before we even got started because that's the way it has to be. The best thing that you can do is just to walk away and forget you ever said anything. Oh, please, do you really think that I, I could do that? that? You need to try for both our sakes. You stop. You think you know me. You think you know better than me. I do know you. Then why are you always selling me short? Please, don't deny it. You always think that you know better than me because you're worldly and you're experienced and you've been around. All right, all right. I've been in love, I've had my heart smashed a few times, and... Okay, I want what everyone else has. I want someone to love me, and I... I want a happy ending. And believe me, if I thought that we could... We don't, we don't know. No, we don't, no, 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 no one knows what's gonna happen when you decide to love someone. I just know that we would have to face so many more obstacles than other couples even have to think about. I saw you with Frank, and I saw what happened, and I saw how terrible you felt. You tell me, how am I supposed to let you love me if it's going to make you feel like an awful person? No, it just, it, it really... You doesn't... need to listen to me. No, you need to listen. I've listened to you. It's your turn to listen. When I told you that I loved you, I just, I blurted it. I did. But I think that's what happens sometimes with the truth. It just comes out. But I'm not that naive. I knew what it meant when I said it. And maybe I just stuffed it down for so long that it just didn't even really exist for me. And I even came close to marrying a man. Maybe because I didn't want to face it. Say it out loud. But when I did say it out loud, to you, I knew exactly what I was saying. I know what it means when you tell someone that you love them. How can I let you love me if it's going to make you feel like an awful person? No, it, it, you it, need it, to listen to me. No, you listen. I listened. Now it's your turn to listen. When I told you I loved you, I, I blurted it. I did, I know. But I guess that's what happens sometimes with the truth. It just comes out. But I'm not that naive. I knew what it meant when I said that I loved you. And maybe I stuffed it down so long that it just didn't even really exist for me. I even came close to marrying a man. Maybe because I didn't want to face it. I didn't want to say it. But when I did say it out loud to you, I knew exactly what I was saying. I know what it means to tell someone that you love them. You're not ready. And you are? I don't know. I don't know, maybe not, but I don't, I don't have the baggage that you have. Baggage? Are you, you mean Frank? No, I'm not talking about Frank. I'm talking about Rafe. I'm talking about Emma. I'm talking about your religion. My religion is about love. Really? This kind of love? You're not ready.
was hoping to find you here. Did you know that I was here? I called the Beacon. Your manager said I could find you here. It's Rama. She's in a play. Yeah. And I promised her a long time ago that I'd be here. She's really, really nervous about forgetting her lines. And you know what? It is going to start in a few minutes, so... I know that we need to sit down and have a conversation, but if it could just... Natalia, I'm not here to talk about us, okay? You're not? But I will take you up on your offer to talk, but not today. Why are you here? Corrections called, and they've ordered me to take Rafe back to the halfway house. No, he was supposed to be with me for a week. That's what you told me. Why, why the change? There is no change. When a prisoner is required to go to the halfway house as part of their parole, they usually go straight there, but I was able to pull a few strings so Natalia could have some time with him. Frank, pull a few more strings. I can't. The only reason the parole board let Rafe out was because he was going to be attending an important family event. And now that that event's not happening, they've ordered me to take him to the halfway house. When? Now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but that's why I wanted to track you down here, so I, I, I knew you would want to say goodbye. Please tell Emma I'm so sorry. Don't you dare worry about this. She loves Rafe, okay? If, she, if, if she's nervous, though, just tell her to do that trick that I taught her. I will. I wish there was something I could do. I know. Me too. Let's take lots of pictures. Will you call me if you need me? I'm assuming you heard something. Oh. I can't believe it. I can't. I, I have to say goodbye again. Mom, uh, I'm going to a halfway house. I'm not going to prison. Yeah, I know that, but you're not going to be here at home where you belong. You know, I'm going to give you guys some time to be together, all right? How long do we have? He's got to be there by sundown. Well, thank you, Frank, for trying. Yeah, thanks, Frank. I really, I really wish I could do more. You call me uh, when you're done? Mm. This is all my fault. I did it again. I let you down again. Oh, what, Ma? I... They moved your transfer to the halfway house because I didn't marry Frank. This whole home visit wasn't even supposed to happen. Frank made it happen. What's going on, Ma? With you and Frank, I mean, I, is, is there going to be a wedding? Frank is such a good guy, and I'm, I know that you were looking forward to having someone, you, you know, having a man in your life. <laughs> Ma, you're making it sound like you were marrying him because I wanted a daddy. No, that's not why. I really like the idea of, of being able to give that to you. All right, well, well, good, Ma, but I was just happy knowing that, or thinking that you were going to be with someone who you love and who loves you is going to take care of you, not me. Rafe. Ma, look, Frank is a, is a good guy. He is. But it doesn't mean that he's the right guy for you. Maybe not. Woman, I'm going to tell you one more time. I am happy if you are happy. Life is just a little bit more complicated than that. Ma, I think I know. I'm moving into a halfway house, and now you're a runaway bride. Come on. Oh, God, I really, I really wish that I could explain to you why I did that. Ma, look, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I trust you. You think Frank can pick us up later in town? <laughs> why, do you want fast food? Oh, Ma. I was hoping we can go to church. Church? Like, I know I grabbed about it a lot when I was back here before, but the truth is, when I was inside, you and your faith was the only thing that really got me through everything. So I was kind of hoping we could go together today. Hi, right, well, hey, come here. I love you, mommy. Get my mind.
No, and you didn't look nervous at all. I just did it until I told. Where is she? You know what, baby? Um, she really wanted to be here, really badly, but she. Today's the day that Rafe had to go to the halfway house, and she wanted to go and say goodbye. We should go. That's all I will be probably said. Well, you know, that's really sweet of you, but I think they want some time alone. Besides, we have your cast party to go to, remember? Can Natalia come? I don't think so. Why not? Baby, because it's different now, okay? We don't live at the farmhouse. But Natalia didn't marry Frank. No, but that doesn't mean we're going to move back there. I'm sorry, honey. It's just complicated. It's just growing up stuff. Come on. Come on. Rafa, I am so happy to see you. Hey, um, I'm not back yet. I still have to do some time in a halfway house, but... You're taking steps. That's all that matters. I am so sorry about the wedding. If you and Frank ever want to come in and talk, I'm Thank here. Thank you. Marriage is a huge commitment. There's no right or wrong way to move forward. Everybody's different. Thank you. Actually, today, though, it's, it's about Rafe. He wanted to come by here before he has to head back. Yeah, well, it just it feels good to be back in the real deal, as opposed to, like, a prison chapel, you know? And I don't exactly have a lot of time. I'm not going to be able to make it to uh, this week's service. That's why I wanted to come. In that case, let's light three candles. One is for your blessings, your health. Second is for your loved ones. And third is to ask God to forgive your sins. And as a promise that you live your life according to his teachings. Okay. Yeah. Ma. Ma. Give my love. Give my love. For you. Hold it dear. Hold it. all set because I think I hear everybody in there. Can I have your phone for a sec? Why? I want to borrow it. Why? To take pictures. <laughs> okay, here. It's ringing. What do you mean it's ringing? But you called Natalia? Invite her to the party, please. I'll mention it. Pick up. That's all we need to know, right? Come on. Is it time? Hey, Mama, come on. Look, when I'm out next time, I'll be out for good. I promise. <laughs> Ma, you said you wouldn't do that this time, please. I did not say that. I did not. Ma, I'm not going to jail. It's not jail. I know. It's safer. Thank God. <laughs> Mom, I'm, I'm going to be back soon, I promise, OK? But I'm going to miss you every day that you're gone. I home. know. I love you so much. I know. I'm going to miss you, OK? <laughs> All right, come on. You OK? All right. OK. I'm ready. All right, let's go. Come on, Mama. Okay. Okay. Pam, hey, Pam. Oh, he's so 
be sad. Oh, hi, honey. I'm not sad. I'm okay now that you're here. Uh, we didn't know that you were here. We were at company, right? I, I thought that, that Frank was going to pick Rafe up at the house. No, actually, Rafe wanted to come here before he left, so. Well, I'm sure that was comforting for both of you. Hey, you ready to go? Wait, wait. wait. No, honey, I'm sure she wants to go back inside. No, wait, wait, wait. Just... I do need something from you. Anything. You can ask me anything. Would you come inside with me? Please. Let's go. Natalia, what are we doing here? We're being together. believe that I'd be sitting here in church with you instead of Frank. I feel like everything's gonna be okay. God still loves me. He loves all of us. He just wants us to be happy. I'm sorry that Rafe had to go away. At least I have the rest of my family here with me until he comes home. You and Emma. So what's next for us? I don't know. I guess we just maybe should take some time to think about it. Okay. Hey. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Why don't we get something to eat? You promised after the play, we can go get the spaghetti. We will do that. She was amazing. Why don't you say goodbye to Natalia? And we will go celebrate. But I want both of my mommies to come. I know you said you wanted some time alone, but... Uh... Uh, I can't say no to spaghetti. No, you can't. Nope. Here, put your coat on. I'm starving. Mm. Jody here. Can I go talk to her? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll get a table. Thanks. Okay. Are you two together? Yes, we're friends. We're good friends. I think what he means is, are we a, a party of two? We're actually a party of three for dinner. Okay. Please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Emma's play was good. Yeah, you said that. That's good. I'm glad. Hmm. <clears throat> the, uh, the roast beef looks good. Looks very beefy. This is strange, isn't it? This is a little bit strange. Yeah. It's very strange because we, we have dinner together all the time. We've had dinner millions of times. <laughs> And usually we can start talking, and then we can't start talking until we run out of breath, and now it's, it's, it's different. It doesn't have to be different. <sighs> Banana pancakes. pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we don't... No, it's uh, my daughter she doesn't know what to say next. Yeah. <laughs> must think we're crazy. Maybe. <laughs> Cuckoo. I'll give you a minute. Jody. 
She got some cool new video games. Awesome. Yes. Look at this. You're right on time. You got your spaghetti here. It's mm. looking good. Why aren't you two holding hands? Huh? Come on. Ah, uh, thanks. Well? We have to hold hands and say grace like Natalia taught us. Yes, we do. We do. Come on. For what we are about to receive, we give thanks. Amen. <laughs> oh, did you get in touch with Brandon Davis about that party you wanted to book? Oh, yeah, I did. And he really wants to use the beacon, but he had a conflict with the schedule. He's going to just try to rework it. Oh, we can work it out. He's such a good guy. Yeah, we'll work it out. Oh, you know what, Emma? I was cleaning under your bed, and I found your Harriet the Spy book. <gasps> I forgot to bring it, though. I was wondering why it was. Well, now you know. But I'm going to bring it to you tomorrow, you okay? Have to do I'll that. Go. We'll buy another copy. Okay. It's a perfectly good copy. Why would waste the money? Oh, gosh, we're good. Speaking of waste of money, I have some of your dry cleaning. Oh, my blue suit? Your blue suit, a couple of sweaters that totally could have been hand-washed. Hand-washing my sweaters. What fun on a Friday night. <laughs> This is fun, just like me. How's your spaghetti? Good. Good? All right, I'm gonna have a bite. Hey, finish that up. You can have some dessert, okay? Um, I forgot. Um, Jody's mom asked me if I can stay over tonight. They have a new cat. Hmm. A new cat? And new video games? Oh, my oh wow. Well, um, <clears throat> okay. What about homework? Done. And since they're here, you don't have to drop me off. Okay. Yay! Yay. Thank you, Emily. And she's gone. All right, well, bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Love your spaghetti up. Get <laughs> This has been a really great meal. <laughs> I should, I should probably go. Uh, I'm going to drive you home. <laughs> you came in my car. It's okay. I'll take a cab. Why would you wait for a cab? I'm, you're on my way. Okay. Take a ride. Oh, there's Alan. Ooh, check. Okay. Thanks. Um, I just... Saw Emma leave with some complete strangers, yes. people I didn't know. She just wanders off, doesn't she? <laughs> no, she, she, I know who she's with, Alan. It's not a big deal. Isn't this a school night? I'm sorry, I forgot to call and get your permission, didn't I? So you just let her disappear with these people? Alan, I really, the people that she's with, I know. I don't let her go off with just anybody. Olivia, it's a scary world out there. You know, the wrong kind of people could influence her and take her to unknown places. It's okay. How are you, Alan? Are you okay? You doing all right? No, no, Natalia. Thank you for asking, though. I, I can't remember the last person who asked me how I was doing. Um, how do you like having your son home? Well, actually, Philip is, 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 is not home yet. Where is he? He wants to come back and involve himself with Spalding again, but... Uh, we feel before he does that, that he needs a complete psychiatric examination at Ravenwood. Oh, well, I, I have to say, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think all the young people, Emma, Elizabeth, James, and Raphael, should know about this, because sometimes we parents have to make very difficult decisions to protect our children. Now, I am... Um, I have to go make a phone call, but uh, you two enjoy the rest of your day. Well, that was nice. We can do nice when we want to. Yeah, that's just, I've never seen it. Yeah, it's the first time for everything. Let's go, let's get out of here. Do you want to come in?
Could order coffee. Latte. <laughs> it's, it's been a really nice night, you know, like us together, like normal, mm. just being normal. And if, uh, if I come in, that'll change. So, I just, I really need us to just be able to be ourselves around each other. Yeah, I need that too. So, to what happens? What happens next? Um, we say goodnight. Goodnight. Olivia, just wanted to say hi. And now I've said it twice. I was just about to call you. I need a favor. What is Ray's super secret sandwich? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, it's peanut butter and banana, and it's on whole grain bread, and you cut the crust off. What are you doing? I burnt my thumb. I'm ironing. Is Wednesday also um, wear pink to school day? What is wear pink to school day? You didn't know about that either, did you? Oh, I was hoping for like, you know, ham and cheese, something simple. Well, nothing good is ever simple. Um, I miss you. I miss you too. What if, um, you know, I came over and you gave me a secret sandwich seminar? You haven't eaten lunch yet. You're such a freeloader. You got me. I'll see you soon. This sandwich is more like a dessert. Well, yeah, when well, you put that much banana on it. Well, you're hogging the peanut butter. I'm not hogging it. Just a little. You're hogging it. Here, 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 here. I don't yeah, know. You've got peanut butter here. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is weird. You know, we used to be so in sync with this stuff, and I don't know. Just like being out the other night, it was. Well, it wasn't just, you know, being out, it's... I love seeing you. It's kind of all I think about, but... Honestly, I really, I don't, I don't even know how I'm supposed to act around you. I don't either. I don't either. Um... It'd be nice if we could just get away, you know, from the world for a little bit and figure this out. That's not possible. Might be. I just... What if we left Springfield for a couple of days? Just the two of us. I mean, Emma has this overnight field trip, and um, I've been thinking about it. Unless you think it's just moving too fast to go away like that. Not after living together. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a big deal. You know, we could just spend some time together and see where we are and make sense of what we're feeling. I'd love to make some sense out of that. But I don't want to push you. I really don't. You know, I know that you're still struggling with your religious beliefs. No, I need to figure out where I'm at with God. But I really can't do that unless I figure out where I am with you. I, li I like this idea. I let's do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. He, what you, well, what? I'm doing this wrong? Yeah, she... That's a wrong way to make a like banana and peanut butter peanut sandwich. Butter. It's like she, it's this totally is specific art. the way she likes it. Just let me I'll like, hand you cut the there. Let's do this. Why don't you get so picky? Do, do, okay. okay. Sure.
drank. How you feeling? I'm all right. You? I just wanted to say sorry about the wedding. Yeah, well. Who are your boy toys? Oh, those guys? That's my new security detail. Pretty cute, huh? Doris, why don't you just try being more likable instead of wasting taxpayer money on bodyguards? Look, I understand. I mean, <clears throat> obviously you were the last to know, but uh, you know what? Man up and move on. You're going to be fine, Frank. What are you talking about? Natalia. Look, I'm not finished with Natalia. It's only been a year and change since she lost Gus, and you know what? She, she just wasn't ready. Oh, Natalia told you she didn't marry you because of Gus? No, Olivia did. Oh, Olivia did. Oh. You know what? I can't do this anymore. Uh, you gotta wake up, detective. Your ex-fiance. She has the hots for Olivia. You stop spreading right. lies about Sir, Natalia. You can't step away from us. Get out of my face. Get away from me. Once in a while, you can you can come over the night before and make Emma a sandwich. You know, it was the same thing for Rafe. It was always Wednesdays. He always had a math test in the morning, and this was like a treat he could look forward to. Ah, kids and their rituals. Huh? They're very adaptable little people. That's true. They are. And you know what? I, I would love to come over on Tuesdays and make her her sandwiches. That not everything has to change. No. So our trip, um, I don't know. I was thinking of this place, this timeshare place that has really great restaurants and shopping and... Restaurants and shop, I don't Sounds kind of expensive. Well, we, you know, can do a little write off there if we do some beacon business up there, that would be good. Where's up there? Um, in the mountains and I have a brochure. No good? No, it's beautiful. You know, Frank's friend had a house up here. This is where he was going to take me Valentine's Day before Coop's accident. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to tell Frank the truth about us. I don't know how I can hurt him again. Um, there are some really nice spa resorts we can look at, if you still want to go. Oh, of course I still want to go. I do. I'm sorry, I was just thinking of... Eventually I'm going to have to tell Frank the truth about why I didn't marry him. He's going to be devastated. We're going to have to find a way to make him understand. Oh my God. Oh my God. What happened to you? I got into a fight. Wait, well, sit down. Frank, I, th I think you need to see a doctor. Well, you know, oh, I'm fine. You should see the number I did on the other guys. There was more than one? Okay, we're gonna go. I'm gonna get my keys. We're gonna go. Get them. This is stupid. I can't believe they checked me in for this. You're hurt. I'm fine. Fine, just, just a little banged up, that's all. Story of my life. I'm, I'm okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's all right. 
You got into a fist fight. That's not like you. So what, what happened? Don't worry about it. Look, Natalia. Okay, I'm gonna, I have to get your doctor. I'm gonna get your doctor. This is all my fault. What, that he got beat up? No, that's not your fault. It takes a lot to push him, Olivia. I know that, Adalia. He's a good man. I'm not even done breaking his heart yet. You can't just check out. Let me get your doctor, okay? Haven't you done enough already? Wait, wait! Natalia's gonna be worried sick. If you care so damn much about Natalia, you'll get out of her life before you ruin it. Just wait, wait, Frankie, wait. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just gonna check up on Frank. Why? Well, maybe I just like to check on the voters. I'm that kind of mayor. Bedside visits don't really seem like they're your thing. All right, look, maybe I also want to apologize and avoid any uh, unnecessary lawsuits. Look, my guys got a little carried away. Um, they take their jobs very seriously. This is you? This, you're the reason why Frank looks like he lost a fight with a train? You know what, Frank was drunk and um, very belligerent and my security guards took him down. No, that is not like Frank at all. <laughs> what, what was this fight about? You and uh, the woman that you swear is just your friend. They might be giving you some pretty heavy meds because you seem a little out of sorts. I see things very clearly now. Frank, will you lie down? Let me get a nurse. Don't patronize me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know about you, Natalia. Don't be angry with her. She feels bad enough as it is, Frank. Well, I'm not angry with her at all, actually. This was your idea, wasn't it? Excuse me? The two of you hooking up, or whatever it is you're doing. Frank, I know this is difficult. You mixed her I'm up, because that's exactly what Olivia Spencer does, doesn't she? She sees something that she wants, she goes after it, she does every trick in the book to get it. Can we not talk about this? What was it? You, 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 you didn't want to see us happy? You couldn't, you couldn't deal with that? Is that That's what it was? That's not fair. You struck out with Gus, so you decided to go after his wife? Stop, stop, Frank. If you want somebody to blame, to blame me. Frank, you need to, I think you should get, get in bed and... I finally figured it out. I know the real reason why you stopped the wedding. And it's standing right here. Frank, if you think that Olivia pushed me into anything, that I could be that easily manipulated, then you never really knew me. Natalia, you don't have to do this. I care too much for you to let us live a lie. And that's exactly what our marriage would have been. She got into your head. She can convince anyone of anything. I know this is really hard to accept, but, you know, this just, it just happened and it's real. And now you have to let go. So that's it, huh? It's now you and Olivia. What is it that you are exactly? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever know, but I know what it's not. It's not harmful or sinful or a hundred other words that had me ready to marry a good man like you and make us both regret it for the rest of our lives. All along. I thought it was me. I thought I was pushing you way too hard. I blamed myself. I know, I'm sorry. And you let me. I never, I never meant to hurt you, Frank. 
It's a little late for that, don't you think, Natalia? Wait. Frank! Frank! I owed Frank the truth, or else he's just gonna keep getting into fights. That's how I got that shiner. He deserves better, you know, he deserves to be happy. So do we. Yes, we do. But is this the price that we have to pay because we have these feelings? I don't know. Today it's Frank. Next it could be Emma. It could be Rafe. I don't know. I don't know. We've tried ignoring this. We're, we're together. And we're together. So what does that say? That this is real. But then there are all these real consequences that we have because we feel this way about each other. I knew the other. consequences the minute I told you that I loved you. If you can't handle this, then you need to let me know. Now. If we move forward, we can't have any regrets. Well, I've had my personal talk with God, and I am making peace with this. Are you? My soul's never been much of a battleground. We can't stay inside forever. We've got to, to live our lives. So, um, when we go away together, we'll figure out how to be together, you know, what, what we are to each other. We'll take the luxury package. What does that include? Oh, um, salt or mud. Mm -hmm. What? Salt glow or mud treatment. No, no, just get manicures. Okay. Or whatever. No, no, no. We're we're gonna we wanna take it all. We want everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, what? Rooms. They wanna know if we want um one room or two. Separate, separate rooms. Thanks. Bye. Wow. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before. Me neither. No, I mean, I'm not talking about us. Um, <laughs> I meant like, you know, staying in a ritzy resort and all that. I should have asked what the prices are. You know, it's, I get a professional discount, you know, one hotel to another, so don't, don't worry about that. So, so we're really doing this, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Frank knows about us now, so, you know, word's gonna get out pretty soon. I know. We're just, we're gonna have to be ready. Yeah. But, um, how do we, you know, behave? <laughs> <laughs> around each other when we get there. You, do, do we do we hold hands or, you know, at dinner, do we sit next to each other? Do we sit across from each other? Why, I, you know what, why don't we just feel, do what we feel like doing? Just whatever feels right. So kind of like a test drive. Yeah. You know what, we can talk about our situation or we can drink our fill of cucumber water and come on. Okay, good, there's no pressure. No pressure. I just hope Frank's okay. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you pack for a trip to the spa? They call it resort casual. Who does? The nice people in the magazines. Oh, I wish I can go with you, Natalia. Wait, no, you got a field trip, right? And you like hanging out with Jane. Natalia's not getting married. And 
When you guys come back, can we move back to the farmhouse? No. No, we can't go backwards, baby. But you know what? We can try something new. Right? Right? <laughs> Where's Emma? Jane just picked her up. Got everything? Yeah, I, well, I think so. I brought this stuff up so you can just tell me what I need and what I don't need. It's a spa. We're going to be in a bathrobe most of the time. But you didn't tell me that. Oh. Is, is that a, a problem? No, but, well, I mean, we can't wear a bathrobe the entire time. No, no, you need tops, you need yoga pants, flip-flops. Yoga pants? I don't have yoga pants. What, what am I doing? I don't, this spa thing is not really my thing. I don't really do, like, I don't. Okay, wait, just wait, wait. What, what, what are we doing? I know, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, I'm nervous, too. Yeah, it's just, it's a big step. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a make or break thing. No, I know, I know, because we're just, Two friends going to the spa for the weekend. It's fine. You know, whatever happens or it doesn't happen, we'll still be friends. Okay, friends. You ready to go? Uh, should I leave some stuff here? No, no. You take care of your closet and I'll take the other half. It's <laughs> yours, right? Yes. Closet on wheels. Okay. This room's amazing. Only the best for our friends at the Beacon. Well, thank you. So I will turn the favor when you come to stay with us. Inside, you'll find room service and spa service menus. Uh, we're running specials on seaweed wraps and couples massage. Ah, uh, thank you. We'll look into that. Okay. Yeah. So do you want this room and I'll take the other one? Yep. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Spencer, but we book months in advance. We moved mountains just to get you this one room. Just the one room? You know what? I think all the hair products are lavender and the rest is citrus based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, smell this. Rub it in, look at you. Rub it in. Rub it into. Smells good. You know, we could, um, we could just get a cot. I could sleep on We've a shared a bed together. The, in the I know, yeah, not... falling asleep watching a movie with Emma right there. What do you think the manager suggested when he was talking about couples massages? I know. I was going to ask you. Let's ask him. Oh, hey. Hi. This Hi. is funny, isn't it? I saw your name downstairs for a, for a facial when I was getting a pedicure, and I, you know, I love this place. I didn't this, know you came It's my here. first time, Is actually, it? yeah. Oh, hi. <clears throat> hi, Natalia. Uh, wow. Well, I guess this makes sense. I mean, you must be feeling pretty terrible. Me? Well, you screwed up big time. I, I mean, but it's, it might not be too late. So you're really not going to marry Frank? <sighs> Frank is a wonderful man. Yes, he is. He's the best. But he deserves to be with someone who really loves him, you know, with all her heart. And you don't? No. Not like I should. Well, then, you know. That's just for the best. Unless it's cold feet or errors, are you sure it's not? No. Yeah. Well, you're doing the right thing. I mean, there's nothing worse than walking down the aisle and thinking that you're making a big mistake. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> yes, it has. But then I've also gotten it right. I got it right once. When it's right, you'll know. <laughs> Sometimes it only happens once, but even that is perfect if it's real love. What about you, Olivia? I haven't seen you out with anybody, oh. dating anybody right now. I'm not really lucky. Well, when you're ready, you'll find somebody you always do. Ugh, oh, man.
This is so much fun. I haven't done a girls' weekend forever. You okay? Oh, yeah, I think so. You? Yeah. I think Blake was just a little worried about Frank, that's all. No, I know, I understand. You do. Part of me was just, I just wanted to tell her we're together. What stopped you? The part of me that doesn't really understand what being together means for us yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, you know what? We just need to take a deep breath and chill out because we promised ourselves we were gonna take advantage of this time and just see where it goes, right? All right. But there's always gonna be a Blake or some stranger we don't know that's looking at us and implying things. So I'm not the only one that felt a little awkward <clears throat> when that guy was implying or thinking it's, it's, or... You know, it's what we think. It's, right. You know, how, how do we expect people to accept us being together if that's what we even are, if, if we don't accept it yet? Okay, the, what, what, where did the if come from? There's now an if? Forget the big picture. I'm talking about when, when people start something up and they have to deal with their own personal baggage. Okay, no, I get that. So, you know, I travel light. Some people bring the whole closet. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying to be serious. Why are you funny. getting so upset by this? You know, I, I bet that you're glad that Blake is here. So that way we don't have to deal with each no, other. No, I think actually I'm dealing fine. You're the one who's having a problem. We probably should have skipped the whole spa thing and gone to a religious retreat. Okay, you know what? This isn't working out so well, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. No, you stay, I'll leave. You know the problem is you are just way, 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 way too sensitive. Oh no, the problem is that whenever we have a problem, you attack my religion. I was not attacking your religion, okay? Where is your sense of humor going? It's not gone? funny, you weren't joking. Oh, come well, on. maybe next time we should go to a religious retreat. I wasn't retreat. attacking your religion, okay? I was making a point. You know what's happening here? We have gone right back to the beginning where we don't even like each other. Will you calm down? You calm down. God, before we got here, we were friends, and now we're, we're what? Well, that's what we came here to figure out, right? Yeah, okay, and what have we figured that out? This was a big mistake. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna pray for you to come back. Oh, golly. Well, it must be nice to know how you feel. It must be nice to be so sure. I'm not sure about anything. Why are we fighting? You tell me. Because it's safer. Because if we get along, we have to ask what's next. Probably right. I don't want to fight with you. I don't even. I don't. I don't either. Can we? Can we maybe just start over? No. Uh -huh. I think I know a way. I don't know if you're going to be up for it. Come on, Slowpoke. I thought we were, um, I thought we were gonna go for the total spa experience, like nails and... No, they have great hiking trails here. The exercise, that's part of the spa experience. Okay, so it's like a little walk, right? Just a little walk? It would be nice if we could break a sweat. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not so outdoorsy. <laughs> you? You're Miss yeah. Salt of the Earth. No, I grew up in Chicago. It's <laughs> a big city. And I went one time to a park with Ray for a field trip and there was poison ivy everywhere and it was just disgusting. All right, uh, watch out for poison ivy and just pull your socks up so those little ticks don't... Bite at your ankles. Ew. What? Why was she such a... <laughs> I didn't know you were a nature girl. I grew up on an island, okay? But more importantly, I was married to Josh Lewis, so that family likes to hunt and then stuff the animals and hang them on the wall. Yeah, okay. I got okay. it. So come on, princess. Okay. I'm not to pray here, the princess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Someone needs I am to sweaty. go to the gym. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I really had no idea that you were like the outdoors type. I didn't know. I'm indoor outdoor. Olivia Spencer, woman for all seasons. Is that a problem? No, as long as I don't have to keep up. <laughs> race you back to the room. Ray, I don't want to, please, I don't want to race. I can get a start. <laughs> That's like cheating. Okay, fine. Wait, wait, wait. That was amazing. You relaxed? <sighs> Finally. You know what? I am starving. Uh, so we should order lunch and then figure out what we're gonna do tonight. Okay. You do a movie? Okay. Or maybe a midnight hike. 
Are you serious? Oh, it's beautiful. Gosh, the moon and the stars. And... You just have to worry about the little bats flying around. No, no, no. I'm I can't do, I can't kidding. do bats. I'm kidding, okay? Movie night? Mm, yes, movie night. Okay. Look at this. It's very delicious. Yeah, I'm really healthy. Mm. See, even you can relax. I'm a very fun person. You just, oh, you don't know. You don't know the half of it. Oh, you, you know what? Why don't you, um, why don't you decide what we're gonna have for lunch? But hurry, I'm starving, okay? Emma, what are you doing here? Emma, did you run away again? No. Then how did you get here? I asked Dean to take me. I missed you guys oh. too much, both of you. Where is Jane? Out waiting in the hall for you guys to say yes. Please don't send me home. I'll be fun. <laughs> well, we do. We do have some extra tickets for the mineral baths. We could we could take a nature walk and feed the ducks, but not at night because there are bats. Mm -hmm. It's way past her bedtime for the bat stuff. You came just in time. You know what? It'll be a dinner and movie night. And you know what? I hear they have great, great desserts if we decide to get crazy. Yeah? Okay. I'll go tell Jane you can say yes. Or you go tell her. Okay. Here, where's your bag? It's over there. Yeah, I'm cool. Go pack before I even left. <laughs> I... She's just so adorable. I don't know too many people who would like a kid showing up on their spa vacation. Oh, then you're very lucky that you know me. Yes, I am. Tomorrow, we're gonna get wrapped up in seaweed like mummies. Cool. And you know what? Take a dip in the thermal springs and get pedicures, and when we're finished, we'll come back and watch all your favorite movies. Yes! <laughs> so, how much for our long time? Not moving a little too quick. Almost cost us our friendship there, so. We're friends and we're family, and we don't want that to change. No, we don't. And the other stuff. Well, we'll figure it out. We will, right? I mean, we're gonna figure this out. We have to, because we can't just live in limbo. I need to know what we are and aren't gonna be to each other. And I don't want to play games. Can't keep the other person from living their life. Mom, Natalia. Look at time. <gasps> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Hi, girls. How are the Mandy Petties? Cool, but my nose itches. Uh oh, come here. Don't ruin your nails. Better? Good? Yep. Okay. We missed you. Right, Mom? Yeah, we sure did. Can I go show my friend Kara my nails? I can't believe you made a friend already. I have good people skills. <laughs> That's what Miss Jennings says. So true. Yeah. Well, you must have got those from your mommy. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, go, go show Kira your nails. We'll come back soon because we're going home today, okay? You know, Mom, you shouldn't say we're going back home. Why? Because the hotel's really not a house. A house like the farm house. Okay, I got you. You go show Kira your nails. Go on. Worker. So, did you call Rave? How's he doing? Yeah, he's he's doing well. The halfway house isn't so bad, you know? Not like prison. Did you tell him where you were and who you were with? Sure. I always tell him where I am, who I'm with. He didn't think much of it, though. There wasn't a whole lot of time to talk, so. But I will tell him everything. Everything? I'm not really ready yet to talk to him about stuff that I don't really understand, so. Mm -hmm. I love it here, though. 
feels really safe. And I can't believe we have to go home already. Question is, what are we going back to? Looky here. Looky here. You talk weird sometimes. I'm whimsical. It's part of my charm. <laughs> no, looky here. Looky here what I got in the gift shop. Oh, okay. World's top hotels, resorts, and spas? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought we'd just go from place to place and check it all out. There are so many of them. I know. So we'd be gone for, like, years and years and years. And yes. And never go back to Springfield. And Emma would be all grown, and she'd be able to understand things a little bit better. And then the people we felt the need to, you know, explain ourselves to they'd be dead. So we really wouldn't have to talk to a lot of people. Yeah. And plus, we'd be so... Gorgeous. My yes. Skin would be glowing from all the spa treatments. Yes. Everything. Yeah. But we can't. We have jobs. <sighs> well, and I don't think even you have enough money to live in a spa the rest of your life. Oh. It'd be nice to go somewhere where no one knows us, though. Not really. I don't think so. We love each other for who we are in our lives. I love you because of who you are with Emma, who you are at work. You're strong and powerful and loving. And I love you because you are just the most nurturing person I think I have ever met. A little sappy sometimes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll go back, but we have to promise we're not going to take a step back. Right. Right. Your hands are pretty. <laughs> Nail polish is really pretty. Beautiful dream. What? It's the name of the nail polish. Okay. We'll check out in half an hour and I call for a car. Okay. What's that? It's one of those surveys. You're supposed to tell me how your stay was. I think that we accomplished a lot. I feel very comfortable around you. It's like very familiar, but it's all <laughs> very, very new. And I'm not scared. You know, does that make sense to you? It makes total sense to me, although I think they want to know more about, you know, like the spa service and yeah. the shampoo. Yes, yes. The... Write down everything was great. Things are going to be different, though. I mean, they are different. They're, they're, people are bound to notice when we go back home. Mm -hmm. And it's nobody's business, right? No. Yeah. Still, yeah, people are going to talk. Yeah, that's just what people do. I know. Emma's school, the parents, the teachers, the kids. Yeah. Rafe, the people at work. The Coopers. I just think maybe we should be prepared. Maybe we should rehearse what we're going to say. Which is what? That we came here to make a decision. And maybe we haven't figured it all out, but that no matter what, we're going to be friends. That's a lot. There's more. Yeah, well, yeah. And we'll get there. We will, right? We will, one way or another. But just, no matter what happens, just please promise me I will not lose my best friend. Oh, I promise you. You? I, I promise. <sighs> Ava says hello. Is everything okay? She's moving into a bigger place in the city, and she's a little stressed out, and she needs a little help, so I think I'm going to have to go out to San Francisco for a few days. Can I come? No, because you've missed school already, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? You should really go, though. Definitely go. Ava needs you. I know you miss her so much. Yeah. 
Do you think that maybe you can take Emma for a few days? Oh, yes! Yes, I could. And then I'll make sure she gets to school. Right before I go to work, I'll take her. You like that idea? Yes. You like that idea. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you tell your friend Kira? She's still here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. And then when you get back, you know, we'll... Is there a little tiny part of you that's just really relieved that you get to go to San Francisco yeah, and not like home during right the trolley now. bill? Yeah. No, listen, I'm gonna be out there and I'm gonna think of you and Emma baking cookies and sitting by the fire and I'm just gonna wanna be there with you. And everything oh, there's an old play. You are an unforgettable to What? No, I'm just <laughs> I think it's funny. You know, we're just... We're like mixed together. We're like... Intertwined, you know, in our lives. It's, it's in the nicest way. I'm gonna miss you. Uh, tell me about it. Every single moment with you. I live for every moment with you. What are you in the mood for? Chocolate fudge cookies. Uh, <laughs> no, you're gonna have a proper dinner, young lady. Mm, I don't wanna eat. Can we just watch TV like we used to do? Oh, yeah, right. And then your mommy will come home, and then she'll find out that I've been letting you slack off, and then she's gonna yell at me. She's not gonna yell at you, because I have two mommies, and if you say yes, that counts. Mmm. Can you make those pancakes like you used to? You mean the ones that are shaped like hearts? I already did. Yay! Yeah. Mommy doesn't listen to music at breakfast anymore. She watches the news. Oh, well, you know, your mommy likes to know what's going on in the world before she starts her day. She used to watch the news here too, remember? What's the matter, sweetie? I just like having both, all the time. Music and news? You and Mommy. But you are always, always going to be welcome here, anytime. But we can't move back in. Well, that's going to, you know, that's something that me, or, me and your mom are going to have to just discuss. Because you and Frank still might get married? And I'm always going to care about Frank, but we're not going to be getting married. So when Mom comes <laughs> back from her trip, we can move back in? You are just like your mother. You're so stubborn. You get something in your head. Please. Oh, honey. I don't know. I, you know, your mom and I still have a lot of things that we just need to figure out. Okay? But when you were living here with your mom, it was a very happy, special time for me. For me, too. Really? Okay, give me a hug. Hi. Did you move the cake flour? Uh, yeah, it's in aisle two now. Hi. Hi. You sure? I said, uh, get some baking supplies. <laughs> You? Pick a thing's up. I'm sorry, Buzz. For everything. You know I never wanted to hurt Frank. I never wanted to hurt anyone in your family. Frank's a good person. I'm really hoping that we can still be friends. <laughs> well, maybe someday. I don't know, you know. Frank deserved better. I know. I feel awful. Well, maybe you can make it up. Maybe give him another chance. Buzz. What? What was I supposed to do? Just marry him anyway, even though it didn't feel right? I'm just a little surprised, you know? I thought about... I thought about you as family. I thought I knew you. You do know me. <laughs> you know, I'm all for following your heart, babe. 
But you follow your heart all the way to the altar, and then you run away. You pretend like it didn't happen. No, I'm, I, not, you know. I'm, not, I'm not pretending anything anymore, but... I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to hurt any of you. I don't know what to say. You commit to Frank, you commit to everything, you commit to the family, you commit to me. Okay. Next time, think of that before you jump in. I'm sorry. Plus, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Is uh, Olivia home? No. Olivia doesn't live here anymore. Oh. Well, that's funny. I, I saw the little pink sneakers, and I and I just thought in a no, bedroom. Well, uh, uh, Emma's here. I'm watching Emma for Olivia. She's away for the for a little while to see Ava. Oh. So she, I'm sorry. I'm just I just got back from a trip. I haven't unpacked. And oh. I was supposed to start baking an hour ago. Oh, you just bake? Little... How sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you bake? No, no. <laughs> um. You. S- seem a little rattled. You okay? I, yeah. Is it the baking? <laughs> Fine. Yeah? Yeah. Mary just got back. Uh, Olivia and I uh, went away for a few days just on a little trip, and it was good. We had a, a nice time. We were able to talk about some stuff. And Now you're back, and reality's a little different. Huh? Look, I know you go away, and you're in your own little bubble, and, uh, well, I hate to burst that bubble, but it is all part of coming out. I don't know what you think I am. What do you think you are? (laughs) Look, really, I did just come over here to let you know that I am uh, petitioning to get Rafe a new hearing. Thank you. You're welcome. Why would you do that? Because I owed Frank a favor, and he used it to help the woman who just dumped him. Enjoy your baking. Hi, Olivia. It's me. Um, please call me back. It's not a, an emergency or anything. Everything's fine. I'm just doing great. Um, I just... I know um, what we said at the spa and everything, but... Um, really kind of hard here without you. So, I, I, you know, I just, um, I guess I just, I really want you to come home. Is Emma? Oh, Did you get her off to school okay? Yeah, no, no problems at all. She was perfect. She was great. She um she loved being back in the house. <laughs> she wants to stay. Oh yeah. 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 We talked a lot about that. I don't think she really understands why we don't all live here together like we used to. What'd you tell her? I didn't want to tell her too much. <laughs> well, you know, um, because I was thinking about that while I was gone, and you know. Maybe Emma is right. Maybe we should move back in. The time that we spent in this house, living together, the three of us, it was everything to me. It was the happiest, most stable family life I have ever had. But, you know, it's, it's different now. Well, different, different good, or different not so good? You know, what if we're not ready? Because moving in now means moving in, you know? It means telling Emma, and it means telling Rafe. It means a million different things. And, you know, what if we don't work? We do work. Okay, but something could go wrong. And, and, and what, the, what, we'll have to move out? Because, you know, that's a possibility whenever any two people decide they want to be together. You just have to take that risk. 
I don't really want to do that to Emma. But exactly. That's what I. That's what I mean. I just don't think that we should jump into anything too soon, or or, or take really big chances. No, wait, yeah. just because you take chances. You, you, you took a chance when you quit your waitressing job and came to work for me. You, you took a chance when you walked away from Frank. You took a chance when you opened the door. When I knocked. You take chances. You're a lot bolder and braver than you give yourself credit for. Okay, you know, like a couple months ago, I would have really argued with you that all my choices are very safe, but you're right. I took the biggest chance of my life when I told you. I'm a live one. You tell me what? When you're close, I love like you. A brush fire. And, Darling, you and I haven't regretted it since. How nice as long as you are, <laughs> but I'd rather be. Edmund Winslow was dead? Yeah. I, th I thought you knew about that. Uh, you weren't exactly friends with him, were you? No, he was a, a sad bastard, but I just saw him yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, I got back early and I was going to come here, but the, there was an emergency at the Beacon and I, I went there to deal with it. And I, I, I looked out the window and I saw him talking to... Do they think that uh, he was murdered? Well, that's what it looks like. Who did you see talking to him? You know, I, I, um, it was probably nothing. I, I shouldn't say anything. I don't, I don't really know what to do. I think you should be honest. You know, it's when you start lying and hiding things, things get all messed up. How honest are we being? This is not lying. This, it's a little more complicated than that. And I mean, I, I mean, if you know something about a crime, yeah, you know what? Let me let me go deal with this. Will you be here for a while? Yeah, I, I won't go anywhere until you get back. Hey. Hi. I was dropping by. Decided to drop in. Oh yeah, come on in. Someone promised to help with the annual uh, fundraiser. Remember? Of course I remember. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please have, have a seat. Tally, a lot of people are hurting right now, losing their jobs, their homes. A lot of people need help. I'm sorry, I don't want to impose. No, you're not. I, I, I really still want to help out. Okay. I think we can probably get some rooms from the Beacon and, and some leftover food. You know, I just have to clear everything with Olivia. That's terrific, thank you. Sure. Do you want, um, you want some soda or do you want me to make some coffee? How about a beer? You want a drink right now? <laughs> Every chance I get. Hey, Jesus turned water into wine. Yeah. It was his first miracle. <laughs> How's Frank doing? You guys work it out. Frank, he's... Frank's wonderful. He really is. He's the best. Mm -hmm. But, um... Just a lot to take into consideration. It's, of course. It's just not as simple as, um... It's just not simple. Is there... someone else involved? You know... Yes. I am. Um, <clears throat> I have feelings for someone else. Olivia? Yes. Olivia. Viva. Hey. Hi. How was your trip? It's good. Ava's just great, and she misses her dad. You know, I I really have to get out there and visit her soon. Yeah. Um. You know, I want the best for you, right? I mean, I I, I haven't always wanted that, but I, seeing what you and Riva and, and the new baby have, it's it's great. And I I I just. I know how precious it is to find someone that you truly love and after all the years of hardship and you finally think like you found something special and enduring and 
Where is this coming from? I saw her with Edmund. What? Reva. I saw Reva with Edmund. And it must have been right before he died. I didn't see this coming. You know, the feelings that I have for... Olivia. All I know is that they're real. Natalia, there's nothing wrong with what you're feeling. I understand the connection. She's got Gus's heart. You care about her daughter. But the church is clear in this matter. For you to act on these feelings would be... It's a sin. <sighs> but God is love, right? Love? God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchange natural relations for unnatural ones. Romans 1, 26 to 27. The scriptures I say... Know, I, know, I know what they say. But I don't feel in my heart that what I'm feeling is wrong. I can offer you support. I can give you guidance. The church has counselors. You know, but this, but this is not, this is not a confession, Father. I have thought about this, and I have prayed and prayed about it, and I am still the same person, no matter who I love. I want to help you with your church charities, and I want to still go to mass every Sunday. My faith in God is still as strong as it was before any of this happened. I still believe in Him and His teachings. Not all of them. I love Olivia, and I love my faith, and I don't see why I have to choose between them. The Bible is open to interpretation, but the church believes. I understand. But the Bible also says, test all things and hold fast to that which is good. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it's okay. Sorry. Are you sure it was Reva? I'm, I'm positive. I was in my office on the phone and I looked out the window and it was Reva and Edmund arguing across the lake. And I, I didn't think anything of it and then I saw the paper. And... You know, I'm sure that, you know, there's an explanation. <laughs> I'm sure there is. I just, I thought you should know and, you know, whatever you want to do about it, it's up to you. Okay, well, well, thank you. Uh, hey, did I tell you that, uh, Reva got her test results back. No more cancer. That's great. Yeah. It's been a tough year for her <laughs> yeah. and for you. But now you're both healthy and happy. You are happy. I, I am. I think I am. I don't have everything you have yet, but I've got a shot. No questions. I think Ava would be happy to see us like this. I think she would, too. So we'll leave work by three, pick up Emma, maybe get a pizza? Yeah, that sounds good here, so thank you. Some water. Listen, mm -hmm. um, right after you left, Father Ray stopped by, and um, I sort of told him. Uh, about us? Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah. Huh. He asked me about Frank. And, um, I couldn't lie to him, not to a priest. Um, but, you know, after he left, I, I was praying and I was thinking about stuff. And you don't want me to move in? I still love the idea of living here with you and Emma. I really do. But, um, I don't know if it's something that I should do right now. You know, because living together in that way is, um, is a sin. Is that what Father Ray said that it was? No. I don't think that we're a sin. It's really hard to explain. I just, it's a, it's, it's a big step, yeah. you know, for any, it, it would be the same thing if it was Gus or anyone else. Would it, would it really be the same? Yeah, yes. I don't want you to think that 
my feelings for you have changed in any way because that's that's not true. It's just I take this very seriously and I want to do it right. Okay. Okay. So, you know, we don't want people work to know just yet, so we'll just, we'll act normal. Yeah, you definitely have to act normal. I know normal, I know. <laughs> you know normal. You got lunch right there. That was good. That was like really normal. It was really good. You know what? I can't find that spreadsheet. It's right there. Right. Where? It's right. What? It's right in front of you. Look. You just wanted me to come over here, didn't you? I'm not that clever. Yes, you did, you did. Miss Spencer, huh? the ballroom has been double booked. What? Which parties? Uh, the uh, Springfield Animal Rights Group and the Springfield Furriers Association. Oh, that's perfect. How did this happen? Well, I don't know. Well, you're the banquet manager. You should know. It was me. I, I, I'm sorry. I booked it. I, I did that. I'm sorry. I was trying to drum up business, and uh, it was my mistake. It happens. We'll just, we'll call Towers and we'll, we'll move one of the parties over there. <clears throat> I don't want Margaret at Towers knowing that we double book, so just let her think that we're throwing some business her way, okay? I'll make the call. Thanks. What's his problem? What are you doing? I screwed up. And you tell me it's okay right in front of another employee. There was no yelling at me, no threatening to fire me. Why? Why would I? Because you're yelling at Greg. And he expected it. You know why? Because that's what the boss does when she's mad. And I can't work here if you're going to give me special treatment. OK. You know, I can, I can separate my professional life from your love life. I can do it. I've done it before, OK? You just caught me by surprise, that's all. Yeah, we just said, I mean, you may have to be careful because the entire staff is going to know. And then someone will talk to Emma, and we don't want that. No. Okay. No special treatment for you. So, you left work? Uh, 12 minutes after you did. And since I used the lobby exit, I went out the service door. Good times. <laughs> yeah. It's like we're in a spy movie or something. But this, this is where I'm actually most comfortable, in a big empty park. It's not empty. I'm here. Mm -hmm. So why is this so easy and then everywhere else is just, it's a hard. Maybe we need a timetable. You know, like this is the day we'll tell Emma, this is the day we'll tell Rafe. This is the day that we won't leave work 12 minutes apart and use different <laughs> exits so that people won't think we're together when we are together. What are we so afraid of? Me? I am afraid of everything. I wish I could be more like you. I'm scared. But that's why I know it's worth it. This is a sad little picnic. No, it's not. No, no, no. We got our water. We got our, our what do you want, dark chocolate almond and more chocolate chip. And we've got gum Either. for the after. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> I like your hair like that. I didn't... Thanks. Yeah. I was going to tell you that the other day. Stop stalling. Pony up for the picnic. <laughs> I don't have what do you got in I there? Um, oh, come on. You got a stash. Well, I have I have tissues to clean up. Well, that would be a nice and then, um, napkin. I have, I have some mints. A serviette. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're hard to find. You know what? I can take a walk. You know, Olivia, you don't have to go anywhere, actually. I just wanted you to know, Natalia, that I got a call from Corrections, and, well, they've scheduled a hearing for Rafe next week. I know. I know that you did that. Doris came by the house and... I didn't want her to say anything. Well, I'm, I'm so glad that she did. But then I wasn't really sure if it was going to happen or not, or, or if I should call you. The judge is ruling whether Rafe is ready to be released from the halfway house. I, do you think that this this means that he could be coming home for good? If the hearing goes well. Frank, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know how 
to thank you for everything that you've done um, it's no problem. for Rave. It's no problem at all, actually. I'm glad I can help. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's hard to see a good person go down the wrong path. Anyway, you ladies have a good day. so many things to do now. You know, I have to get something to wear for court. I have to fix up Rafe's room. I'm so, <laughs> I can't believe my little boy is coming I'm home. so happy for you. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little different though for us. You know, because Rafe has no idea. You know what, just, let's not, not today, okay? Today we celebrate. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's up? I I need a favor. Do I need to sit down? <laughs> it's it's about Rafe. I, I just I was wondering if you could speak at his hearing. You know, since you were the victim, it, it might help. And since you have a, a new little boy of your own, I thought maybe you'd be a little, a little more sympathetic to Natalia and her son. I like Rafe. <laughs> of course I will. Be glad to do that. Good. But uh, you know, you didn't have to come all the way over here to ask me that. So what else is on your mind? Don't go all black ops on me. I'm just talking to a friend. Uh-huh. This hearing could change everything, and I'm not just talking for Rafe. Oh, you mean uh, when Rafe comes home, he might discover that you and his mom are closer than... We're not, we're not even a couple. Yeah, really? Well, what are you? We're t two people who are together, and we're friends. And a bit more. A couple? Oh, we're just, I don't, we don't want to label it. Well, that's what all couples say in the beginning. Okay, all I want is for Natalia to be happy, but I also know that Rafe coming back could keep us apart. Rafe and Emma, I don't, I don't know how this is going to affect them. Well, everything changes when there's a child involved, you know, you, uh, you do everything you can to protect them, but uh, sometimes you go too far. Are we still talking about me? I messed this up, right? I should never have told you that I saw Reva with Emma right before he died. Hello, Olivia. Reva! So you're the rat. I should have known. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to stab you in the back. Of course not. No worries. Besides, what could you have seen? Just saw you and Edmund from a distance, and it seemed like you were arguing. Mm. So you didn't see me push him in the lake? Hang him? Shoot him? Kick him till he dropped? Well, but if you want to go to the police, no. that'll make your day. No one's going to the police. Why? Do you have something to hide? <laughs> no. Reva, maybe we should discuss no, what you Olivia know what? saw. I that was Shane. I just saw him. He reminds me so much of Josh. Don't even think about it. Uh, so, uh, what happened? Shane is going to put Edmund to rest at a gathering in the park. What, like a picnic? My son has a conscience. He has to do this for one reason, and I want to be there for another. <laughs> You're not getting anywhere near there. I have to go. Edmund can't hurt me now, and I have to be there to support Shane. You know, if she doesn't go, it might make her look even more suspicious. Just thought. This is crazy. I'm going to change my clothes. Well, it looks like they already started without us. Sure you want to do this? Absolutely. What about you, Olivia? You ready to dance? I can twist, tango, I do it all. <laughs> Edmund, um, Edmund let his, his hatred and his mistrust run his life. And because of that, he died alone and no one misses him. I don't think he ever understood what he was missing out on by not, by not letting good people into his life. 
So I hope that, uh, I hope that we all can learn from Edmund's mistakes. My name is Edmund Winslow, and the Lara Project was established to honor the memory of my daughter. I, I didn't know Lara for very long. Indeed, I met her when she was a grown woman. She was a lovely, beautiful, accomplished young lady who dedicated her life to helping others. I could talk for hours about her, but that's not, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to talk about you. We are all of us now living. We are all of us dust now. But that doesn't mean you can't learn from us, from our successes and our failures, from our sacrifices and our selfishness. I lived most of my life as a very selfish man. All I thought about was me, and that left me empty and alone. Why is it we don't value the precious moments of life? Why do we waste so much time with things? And the things that really matter are those, are those moments bind us together. Not enough. Um, if you learn from us, from me, learn from me. If you're lucky enough to be loved, if you're lucky enough to be loved, hold on to it. Hold it in your heart. If you value things over the laughter of a child, or the, the, the touch of a loved one, think of my daughter. Think of Lara. And fill your life the way she filled hers. And if you're searching, if you're one of the many people searching, Never give up. Never. 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 Never give up. Hi, Natalia, it's me. Look, I know we can't move in together right now, not yet anyway, but I, I want you to know one thing. Nothing is going to get in our way because you are way too important to me. And if you need anything, you know, you or Rafe, you, you can count on me because we're in this together, right? Whatever this is, it's what I want more than anything. Okay, so we need to restock the wine cellar, Greg. I already put it in the order. And how many guests are we expecting? About 250. Okay. Was there something else? Or? Yes. Where did you get those shoes? They are fantastic. Oh! <laughs> you. I knew the banquet manager has a foot fetish. I, I, I really thought he was going to say something about us. Why? What did we do? We were standing a little close. We were reading a piece of paper. We don't have to worry about what they think, the staff. Forget it. No, I know. They were just checking out your shoes. Well, they are cute. They are so cute, and I, I need to borrow them. Are you kidding? They're boats. You drown in them. No. So I'm parked over there. Are you going to go back inside, or what are you going to do? I, I have some things I have to do before Rafe's hearing, so. What? <laughs> Sorry, no. I'm just so excited. No. I can't think of anything else, you know? I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but the thought of him being at home after months of not even being able to hug him. If you're allowed to be excited, okay? I'm excited for you. You don't look so excited. I'm excited on the inside. I am. doesn't mean that we can't be together, it just, it's gonna be a little complicated. Yeah. Well, 
what, you know, what, just what if? What if Wraith can't deal with this? I mean, we're not the only ones who have gone through some changes. I have faith in him. He just needs to be told um, in the right way at the right time. And how and when would that be? I have no idea. He likes your chili with the cheese on top, right? And yeah. uh, I thought maybe we could do a little cake that says, Welcome home, Rafe. I love you here. I know. I mean, here? I know, I know, but he loves your food. It's his favorite. And Towers isn't his thing. And I just, I want to do something special. I, it's Rafe. He loves company. But if, you know, I, uh, no, uh, if it's for Rafe, right. it's okay. I, I didn't know you were going to be here, Frank. Um, Natalia told me that. You called in a favor from, from Doris, and that's what gave Rafe this the chance. The poor kids deserved, he deserves to go home. He served enough time. I, I just, whatever happens, Natalia's grateful, and so am I. I'm going to the courthouse. Do you want to ride? I, I got to run errands all day long. So you, know, you know, Pop, it's, you it's don't have to do that. Yeah. I don't need to testify. I don't have to be there, but I, I wish I'm Rafe sorry. well. I, uh, I assumed that you were going to go. Yeah, well, I'm not a saint, Olivia. Ditto. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay, uh -huh. just, you know, make sure you sit up straight and look the judge directly in the eyes, you know? Come on, Mama. I'm not, I know, I'm sorry. Hi. It's okay. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of miss you nagging me a little bit, saying things like, clean your bed, Rafe, and make your bed, and <laughs> take out the garbage, Rafe. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to get you home. Oh, you know what? I think I found a car for you, maybe, because I, I was going by the used car lot, and they have a lot of good deals. Mm -hmm. And um, I picked up a course book for you from Springfield U. I mean, just in case you were thinking of maybe taking just a couple classes at first. You know, in the meantime, I can get you a job at the Beacon. Or... <sighs> sorry. Too much. I'm sorry. Oh, it's just, like, Mama, we don't even know how this hearing is going to go, okay? And I, I think it's smart if we just take everything one step at a time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, Olivia and I were just talking about that. You know, there's there's a time for everything. And we'll just get through today, and the rest will take care of itself. Ms. Hurst, you are representing Ms. Rivera? Yes, Your Honor. Good, I've had a chance to review the young man's record, which, quite frankly, I found disturbing. Time spent in juvenile detention, an attempt on the former district attorney's life? That was an accidental shooting. I have a written appeal from former district attorney Jeffrey O'Neill. Even the victim in this case is in favor of Rafael Rivera's release. I also urge you to take a look at his sterling record while incarcerated. He's been a model prisoner. I will take those things into consideration. But what I need is compelling evidence that Mr. Rivera would be better off at home than in a halfway house. Are you the mother? Yes, Natalia Rivera. Um, my life now is more stable than ever, Your Honor. Um, I have a very good job. I have a, a, a great home for my son to come home to. Uh, we're very fortunate to be surrounded by friends, and I can give him a wonderful family, one that's built on love and respect. Your Honor, we are requesting that the court release Rafael Rivera so that he may... Let me stop you, Ms. Hurst. There's still a problem here. And I think Ms. Rivera knows what it is. My concern, Ms. Rivera, is your personal life. Now, given your son's history, his re-entry into society would be greatly facilitated by a strong male presence. And in that sense, the environment you intend to provide for him is lacking. Rave's father is deceased. He was a respected detective in this town, and Miss Rivera a fine role model in her own right, who, in the face of that tragedy, has rebuilt a stable home for her son to return to. I'm aware of the circumstances. However, I am making it a condition of Mr. Rivera's release that he be provided with a male mentor. And until that happens, he will remain in state custody pending... Your Honor, if I may, I'm Detective Frank Cooper. I'm willing to take on that responsibility. 
Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. In light of Detective Cooper's offer to serve as mentor, I am satisfied that Rafael Rivera has fulfilled the requirements of his release as set forth by this court. Mr. Rivera, I hope never to see you back here again. <laughs> Is there, that's it, then I'm free? Best of luck to you. This court is adjourned. Thank you. It's really over. You are coming home. Oh. oh. <sighs> Frank. I don't. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. Really, thank you so much, man. We uh, stop. <laughs> we have plenty of time to talk. I'm taking this mentoring thing very seriously. Yeah, it's all down. Man. It's fine. I wouldn't have my son if it weren't for you. I am eternally grateful to you, Frank. You're the best man I know. Your son deserved a break. Come on, Mama. We gotta sign some paperwork. So it turns out you are a saint. The court would have appointed him a mentor. It just would have taken longer. Why'd you change your mind to come here, Frank? I was just dropping paperwork off at the station. Just thought I'd pop right in. A saint and a liar. That's an interesting combination. Thank you. Hey, Frank, can we still you for a second? The judge needs to go over a preliminary schedule for you and Rafe. Sure. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I can't believe this is really happening. I am so happy for you. Thank you. I'm gonna hug my friend. Okay, good. I wanna hug. <laughs> Listen, I know this is gonna sound weird, but I'm kinda glad that Gus's heart was here today. I'm glad you were here today. I'm <laughs> stuck. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to take this into the judge. All right. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I have a surprise. Um, Dinner at company. Buzz is gonna make all your favorite things. I think there's a, a sugar-free cake. Oh. oh, that is so sweet of you, Olivia. Thank you. That's perfect. Um, yeah, I just, I'm sorry. I just, I, I'm not really sure I'm up for a, a big hurrah tonight with everyone. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, it's okay. no spend some time alone with your mom. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, Frank, if you want, um, that could be the first thing we check off on our list. No, Rafe, I think that's a good call, just keeping it family tonight. Don't worry, we've, we've got plenty of time, my friend. You sure? Yeah. Hey, Ma, you ready? Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna go home. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're really gonna go home. Uh, okay, I'm fine. Thank See you. Later. Bye, guys. Bye. What you did for her, Frankie. You must love her an awful lot. Looks like I'm not the only one. Yeah, no, I'm kind of used to that now. It's a little chill. You, is that jacket warm enough for you? Mom, I'm just going for a run. Relax. You're going to go for a run? You didn't eat anything. You want me to make some toast? Or? Some toast? Yeah. No. <laughs> Mom, I'm you're worse than the freaking morning. Stop. I'm so, I, sorry. I just You should take care of yourself. You can stay healthy. Mom, and... Look, stop. I can take care of myself, OK? I promise. All this hovering thing, I can't take it, all right? I don't need that anymore. Set a picture for the last day of school tomorrow? I think that's pretty sweet, but you know what? It needs a title.
Um, the farmhouse, it, it belongs to Natalia and Rafe, you know? Can I still think Rafe is still my brother even though he's not in jail? Yeah, of course you can. That's a silly question. Mm -hmm. Then I want to go see him. I miss him. Don't you miss Natalia? Water, please. Yeah, please. Happy. Thank you. <laughs> Munchkin, come here. Get up. Did you miss me? Duh. Mom and Natalia are hopeless at video games. Okay. Oh. <laughs> really? Oh, I'm ready to beat you at Angelica then. <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? Well, Angelica's like so yesterday. Oh, because the yesterday. I guess a lot of stuff has changed, huh? Hey, Emma, why don't you show Rafe your brand new bike? It's in the barn. Where the cows used to live. All right, come on. Let's please slow. She she still thinks that this is her farm. Yeah. What's wrong? You? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm happy. My son is home. It's good. But he has to adjust. He's adjusting to uh, you know being in a real house and a real bed and sleeping with the lights off and. Eating breakfast, everything he has to adjust. Yeah. To. Well, you know, you, you knew it wasn't going to be easy, right? Yeah, I just I'd really like to see him happy. Well, Emma can cheer him up. I know she's good. Mm-hmm. Like little brother and sister. And that's how she sees him, which is, you know, something to think about. Maybe what he needs is more family, not less. Not yet. Not until he's really You're ready. You're not going to be able to protect him forever. Maybe the best thing is just to tell him the truth about us. She's good. This is really good. <laughs> That's her idea of home. Well, I hope she always feels that way. Because, you know... I'm Sometime not talking soon. about moving in today or sharing the phone bill, although I'm sure you'd like that. I just, I want that someday. I want what any family has. Well, so do I. I do. But you realize that telling Rafe whether he's ready or not, that, that means we have to tell Emma. So how do we do that? How do we... Why don't we just... a little girl explain. She wrote an essay called My Two Mommies. We could start with that. I know. I have my copy in my drawer. I think in some way she knew we belonged together even before we did. Maybe you're right. This is never going to be a, a perfect time to tell them, so... Maybe we should just say it? Maybe we should just... try to make them both understand? Mommy! Hey, what is it? What's wrong? Oh. Olivia, I'm sorry. I, she wanted to ride on the handlebars, and I, and I told her no because I was afraid I'd crash and that she, she'd fall. Okay. Just... He told me to get off and leave him alone. I told him I'm ready for family life. Baby Rafe didn't mean to snap at you. Then why did he? Well, just imagine you've come to a strange country and you have to learn everything new again. But this is Rafe's house. I know, I know that, you know that. But it's still a little strange for him because he's been away so long. We have to be patient, which is not always easy for someone like us to do, but when you love someone and you're a family, you, you have to know when to hold on tight and when to let go. Hello, ladies. Hi, Frank. Hi. Brave song. I know that. He called me. Is everything okay? Hey. Hey, Rafe. Hey, Frank. Sweetie, why don't we get going, huh? Uh, actually, no one needs to go anywhere. Uh, Rafe and I are just going to play some ball. We're not going to be in anybody's way, so... Hey, Rafe, uh, the, the equipment's in the car, so... Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Thanks, buddy. Oh, uh, Natalia, I was, I was a little surprised that you weren't at Remy's reinstatement today. Oh, I, I know, I, but I didn't think that Rafe wanted to go, and, and I didn't want to leave him at home alone today, so... How was it? It was great. He's, uh, 
Just looking forward to being a cop again. Can we bo play ball too? Well, look at that. Wraith has a good arm. <laughs> It's nice to see him having a good time, you know. I don't think he's really thrown a ball around since Gus. It's really good of Frank to do this, to step in like this, you know? Just give him a little guidance. Mm -hmm. Since he's been so at odds with everyone and everything since he got home. Yeah, well, Ray's a good kid. <sighs> he's not a kid anymore. He's your kid. Once I feel like he's really settled in, like he's really calmed down, then then I'll be able to talk to him about, you know, everything, about, about us. But I can't right now. He's just not ready. Hey, Frank. I was gonna get a bucket of chicken. Do you wanna stay a while? Um, no thank you. It's on my way out, actually, but uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. What about you? Mm -hmm. Want a chicken day? Have some chicken? I'd love some chicken. Yeah. But um, Emma's having a sleepover, so. And you and Rave should really, you know, spend some time together. So. Jelly bean in the car. We're leaving. Okay. I, I'm gonna get my stuff too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, I guess I'll see you later. Yes, you will. Hey, how are you? Well, you... Oh, wait, are you hiring? Am I hiring? Yeah. Um, well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a job. Dinah cut my hours back. And, oh. Um, I, I was hoping to get into event planning. Um, I was Bill and Lizzie's wedding planner for, like, five minutes. You know what? Uh, I will remember that when I'm at City Hall holding up their license. Right. Well, I, you know, I was just wondering if you keep me in mind. Yes, absolutely, I will. I, I mean, I'm, I'm open to just about anything, and I have really good people skills. Just like our mother. Uh-huh. Right. Well, um, I, I guess I better be going. Oh, bye. bye. Good to see you. You too. OK, I need your advice. Oh, that's funny, and my daughter needs a job. <laughs> Fine, OK. How long were you a prosecutor? Uh, a while, a long time. <laughs> OK, so you saw some people, you know, go to prison and, and then, you know, get released. Lots of them. And how long, on average, would you say that it takes that person to get settled? Is this about Ray Rivera? Oh, of course it is. <laughs> you need Natalia's son, Rafe, to be OK so that you and Natalia can get on with your life. Say hi to your dad. I guess so. Uh, I got some food in the car. You know, if you don't want to be at the house right now, we could go eat at the park or something. No, no, that's fine. I'm, we can go home. Okay. What is all that? What is all this you got no, back here? No, that's nothing. It's just some random paperwork. Just okay, random fine. papers. The police. Mom. Are you? Are you applying to the police department? I don't, I don't know. Ma, you don't know? On, it looks like you stop. filled out all these forms. Can this please just be one of those things we just drop, okay? Why, I, why? I think it's great. I don't I understand just, why you're trying to hide it. I'm not trying to hide it. 
So you want to be a police officer just like your dad? You see, that's exactly why I don't want to... Like, I don't even know if I'm going to apply yet. Why wouldn't you? Because, my... Look, it's one thing to say that I want to be like us. It's something completely different to actually do it. I think you'd make a great cop. Yeah, we'll see. I made mean, a lot of mistakes, man. Well, yeah, but I'm looking at someone who wants to take those mistakes and just put them behind him. You know, you want to make something of yourself. Your dad made mistakes. He made plenty of mistakes. He was never perfect. But he had integrity and character, just like you. You are, you're so alike, the two of you. I mean, you have no idea. You're never going to be perfect, but instead of just appreciating when you're at least close, you just, you beat yourself up when you come up short. He would be so proud of you. Hi, okay. I have a couple of his ties at home. Maybe I'll just, I'll wear one to the interview. I love you. Love you too. Okay. I get it. I understand that, you know, Rafe is Natalia's first concern because I'm a mother and Emma's my first concern. So I, I also know that she's not going to be able to talk to him until he's in a good place. Well, I don't know that <laughs> Rafe will ever be in a good enough place to hear that. Okay, great. I'm leaving. Look, I am not going to sit here and give you something to hang on and then have it be wrong. I could use a comforting lie right now. Are you that worried? N oh, no. About what? <sighs> that if something doesn't happen soon between you and Natalia that maybe it never will. Okay. Okay, just hold on a second. Just wait. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Tighten this. Okay. I wrote this for luck. What do you think? Yeah. You know, soon you could have a badge of your own. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see, right? Like, I, I better get in there. I don't want to keep Frank and the chief waiting. Okay. I'm All just right? gonna. I'm gonna wait out here. Well, you can come inside. Everybody knows you're in there. No, it's okay. I'm. I'll. I'll be right out here. Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So your case in the Hi. What's it's so funny. I, I'm sorry. I just, I just sent my son in there on a job interview. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He he decided that he wants to join the police force, just like his dad. That's great. See, he's gonna be fine. He's trying to get on with his life. I mean, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see. This is just a just a beginning. He wants to make you proud. Yeah. I mean, I think he knows that he disappointed me, and he he really wants to make up for it. Well, there's nothing worse than disappointing the person you love the most. Um, so I'll let you wait, and um, I know you two need to spend time together. But if you need anything, or if he needs anything, like a letter of reference, then you call me, okay? Okay. I will. I'll call you. Thank you. Hey. Hey, oh, God. <laughs> Did you talk to anybody yet? Uh, just a desk clerk, but uh, he's new. He told Frank and the chief that I'm here waiting. Okay. Hey. 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 Hi. Hey. Uh, Officer McGee said that just Rafe was here. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. I probably shouldn't be here. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to interview for, for a job. Yeah, well, Rafe wants to be a policeman, just like us. Uh, like, like Frank, too, like you, and, Frank. And you. <laughs> Well, how about that? Well, you know, I, I realize, of course, that there's a waiting list and stuff, but... Well, you know, they just hired Remy, so you don't know. Uh, either way, yeah. I, I wish you would have talked to me about this. <sighs> we don't want to put you on the spot. Yeah. No, um... Well, uh, Rafe, you know what? Why don't, why don't we go upstairs and we can talk about this, okay? Wh who knows? We'll, uh, we'll see. Okay, I'll just, I'll stay down here and I'll... Be nervous and I'll pace and stuff. 
Act one. All right, so what's going on, Frank? You already put your application in? Yeah, I gave it to the guy at the front desk. He told me to wait. And, and no one talked to you? No, why? Rafe, you just got out of prison. You have a felony record. Yeah, I, I, I know. So? That means you can't be a cop in Springfield or anywhere else for that matter. I'm sorry. Rafe, I, I, I am so sorry. Um, and there's nothing we can do, no one we can, we can talk to? I mean... Rafe, if there was anything that I could do, believe me, I would do I, it. I just don't understand, man. I'm out of jail. I'm done with all that stupid stuff. I, I, I get that. I... Sorry. Oh, damn it. I really gotta get this. Listen. Yeah. Why don't we go downstairs and talk to your mom about this, okay? Believe me. I am so sorry. You really would have made a good cop. Hey. How did it go? Um, yeah, he said that there's going to be a there's going to be a waiting list. So it's fine. I thought maybe I'd get a, a part-time job. In the meantime, maybe ask Alan for some help. He left a message for me, so... There's plenty of people who want to help you. You don't have to go right to Alan. Just... This is a great day. Oh, no. It's just a waiting list, okay? Relax. No, oh, no. Some things are really worth waiting for. Olivia Spencer. Hi, it's me. Hi. Hi, I just, um, I wanted to call you. I have some really great news. Rafe's been put on a waiting list at the police department. He applied? Yeah, he wants to be a cop, just like his dad. Well, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. You know, he's just going to need something in the meantime to tide him over until this all comes through, but... I, I, I thought you'd want to know. It's just, I'm so proud. Send him over. What? Send him over. I want to help him. Come on. You know I would do anything for you. Olivia. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do that right now. Okay, here's something. It's in the kitchen. It's an entry-level job, but you know what? The salary is more than it seems. You get to share all the tips with the waiters. Um, Olivia, a busboy? This is right up your alley, you know, if you're looking to be a cop, a security guard. Um, <laughs> great. I'm sure they have really snazzy uniforms, too. Come on. Excuse me? Just, you don't forget it. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'll go ask my grandpa that. No, no, that kind of job comes with strings. Look, I'm not looking for the kissing of the feet, a little... Gratitude would be nice. I'm offering you a job. Two jobs, in fact. All right, but a busboy? Come on, and it's not a career. We're not talking about a career. We're talking about something until you no, can... But I'm not going to be a cop. All right, I went over there. I asked them. They said no. I wanted to be like my dad. I wanted to honor him. They said no. So excuse me if I don't get all excited about picking up some dirty dishes in your hotel room. Come on, don't go. Don't sit. Please, talk. Why? What's there to talk about? Look, your mother led me to believe that you wanted to apply. I know what my mother said, all right. I was there. Well, so you just let her go on thinking that everything was okay? What? You lied to her? No. Hey, come on, you don't have to lie Would to you your mother. I don't. Stop. She's very excited for I you. I know that. That's exactly the point. I don't want to disappoint her. Well, the, just tell her the truth, okay? She's a strong person. You owe her the truth, well, first right? First of all, can you, can you back off, please? Okay, this is my business and my mother's, and who the hell do you think you are anyway? This has absolutely nothing to do with you. Her clothes come back tomorrow. It's me, the mother of your newest employee. Hi. Hi. We, we should talk about Rafe. I'm sorry, I, I really wasn't checking up. I didn't mean to, I no. swear. You should, you should. You should check up, um, especially with the people that you love. You know, they're not always totally honest with you. But, um... Which job did he take? He didn't take a job. He wasn't interested. No. 
Well, you know, it's probably just because he had his heart set on becoming a cop. But, you know, he, I, I know he needs to get it that he needs something in the meantime until he gets to the top of that list. It's not going to happen. What do you mean? He can't become a cop. He was a convicted felon. It's a law. Does Rafe know that? Frank told him. But he, he didn't want to disappoint you. That's all. Oh, Rafe. My poor baby. See, that's... That's the thing. He's not a baby. He's a grown man. And you know what? He, he's going to have to learn how to handle setback in his life because that's a part of life. And I, I honestly don't think it's a good idea that you coddle him, you know? It's not good for him. It's not good for us. Okay. Us? Really? Because... My son just had another one of his dreams crushed. This is, it's not about us. Okay, look, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm, Rafe, his life, it, it does affect us. So in a way, it is about us. Okay. He just got out of jail. I know that. And, and becoming a cop. This wasn't just about getting some job. This was about his father who he didn't even have in his life that long. I understand. I understand. That's why I wanted to help him, okay? I feel for him, but I offered him a job. He didn't want it. He had an attitude when he was in here, and he walked out on me. So what do we do? Because it's a bad economy, and he's got a criminal record. There aren't going to be a lot of people who are going to give him another chance like this. So what does that mean? How long do we wait? Because honestly, I hate it. It's hard for me too, Olivia. You know, and I wish things could be simpler for us. But Rafe is my son, and he needs my attention right now. So that just means I have to wait for some of the things I want. And, you know, someday Emma may be coming up with some of these issues, too, and I just hope that I'm a little bit more understanding than you. Natalia! I haven't seen much of you lately. Uh, I've been going to a different mass. So you wouldn't have to face me. That's not it. No, I understand. Uh, sorry, I, I, on my way I have to go find Reef. So then you told him the news about your feelings for Olivia? Now. Hey, uh, I thought maybe you could help me with something. Sure. Um, you have a lot of experience dealing with the Spalding family. Yes, I do. I try not to think about it. Well, did they ever make you feel like you weren't good enough when you were... Married? To oh, yeah, all the time. It's ancient history. I can't stand them. I can't. I, I, I shot at Alan. Today? Oh, no. It was a while ago, and, and I missed. Oh, well, whew. Well, you know, remind me, and I'll take you out to the shooting range, and you'll do better next time. Uh, really? If it's okay with your family. Oh, well, then forget it. <laughs> just stay away from them. It's a small town, but it can be done. I just I hate that they think they're better than everyone else. And, and why do they get to make their own rules? Who are we talking about? Philip. Ah. I'm, I'm friends with his... Son James, sort of, and James, 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 James is a nice-looking kid. Yeah, I don't, I don't even like him like that. We we just hang out, or we used to, until Philip put his foot down. Like father, like son. You know, Philip needs to be careful because eventually his kids are going to look at him the way he looks at Alan, and that's not so good. Yeah, he was strict when he was my stepdad, but now he's gone over the top. Daisy, if you and James really want to be together, you'll find a way because you're smart kids. I don't even like him that much. I just don't like the fact that he's not supposed to like me. <sighs> Thanks for talking to me. Sure. If you ever want to trash the Spaldings, I'm your girl. They're not all alike. No, your friend James, I'm sure, is different. Oh, he... I'm not sure what he is anymore. I was actually thinking of Rafe. Rafe? Yeah, he's a Spalding, too. I never even think about that. Yeah, because he's a normal person. Yeah. Have you have you seen him much since he's been back? Not much, no. Well, you should call him. I think he could use a friend. Yeah. Me too. And 
we're actually pretty good friends at this point, which I didn't think was possible after all we went through together. Well, everybody needs somebody in their life that knows them and loves them anyway. No, seriously, I, I think you should get in touch with him. His mother is worried about him, and you could be a good influence. <laughs> That'd be a first. Thanks again. Bye. My son is upset because he can't become a cop because of his prison record. It has nothing to do with me or Olivia. Today. But when you do tell him, you must know it will affect him. Of course I know that. Which is why I haven't told him yet. He is just out of jail. He's got a lot of adjusting to do, and I, I don't need to burden him with anything else. Interesting choice of words. I didn't say it was wrong. I just, I meant. What? It's just, it, it'll be one more thing that he has to adjust to, just like everything else. And I will tell him when the time is right. Did it ever occur to you avoiding telling Rafe just like you're avoiding me? Because deep down, you know what you're doing isn't what God wants. God wants me to be kind and loving and caring. Mm -hmm. Just like always, I know what's in my heart. If you do see my son, I'm going to assume that the only thing you will tell him is that I'm looking for him? Of course, I would never betray your confidence. Thank you. You know, if you're having such a hard time telling anyone, anyone about this, including your own son, maybe your feelings for Olivia aren't as strong as you think they are. Hi, Daisy. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. Hey. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you if you'd seen Rafe. Uh, he left a note saying that he was going to meet up with Frank. Oh, no, he's not here. Un Uncle Frank's not here either. Uh, but I was just about to call Rafe, because uh, Olivia said I should. Really? Yeah, I said that he could use a friend. I better get going, so... Uh, if you need to ride somewhere, I can take you. Thanks. But uh, I'll walk. I'm, I'm nearly home. Okay. See ya. Bye. Um, if you do see Rafe, will you just let him know I'm looking for him? I'm sure he's fine. He's with Uncle Frank. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> How's life? Life is just peachy. How's your life? How's Emma? She's, she's great. I'd love to see her sometime soon. We can arrange something. How did she manage to raise such a great kid? <laughs> I, I think she's the one thing that I did right in my life. Tough being a parent. A lot tougher than I remember. <laughs> Man, when it's going wrong, it's all you can think about. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I say something right? <laughs> no, you just help me clear my head about a few things. Let's call tomorrow and, and you can, can take her to lunch. Okay? Okay. I'm sorry I've been so impatient about Rafe. I'm just I'm not very good at the waiting stuff. Oh, I know that about you. I know you want what you want when you want it. I wish that were true. But thank you, though. Thank you for saying that about Rafe, because... He really does need a little extra help right now. I think we all do. And I think we just need to keep that in mind. I'm leaving, um, and I'm gonna try and help Rafe. But I'm gonna give you your space with him, okay? So I'll come back, but you're gonna have to invite me. I'm just, I'm trying to do the right thing. This, is, this isn't some kind of ultimatum. This isn't like, you know, you tell your kid about us right now or I'm out of here? No. No. You were great with Emma, and I need to show as much care for Wraith as you did with her, okay? I just, I got a little off track. You know, he got out of jail, and he needed all of your attention, and I just, I saw it as an obstacle. I understand that. And I didn't, I didn't think that it was gonna be this difficult. I, I got scared. But I'm not anymore, because I know that if I wait, you will be there. And you are so worth waiting for. Right, I'm leaving. Why, um, why don't you just, just come inside with me and 
I'll, I'll make coffee. Mm, we'll just make coffee. No. Just spend time with Wraith. Okay. I'll, I'll call you in like five minutes. <laughs> I know. Relax, please. Listen to me. We have to go. I am the head of the church cookie committee, and I don't want people waiting for us. Nah, nah. Who's us? You have, like, a billion people helping you over there. You don't need me. <sighs> Rafe, I understand that it's been difficult since you got back, but sometimes the best way to make yourself feel better is to serve other people. So you forget about your own problems. No. Ma, look, can I come later, please? No, no. I need your help, really. I, I gotta go to the grocery store. I gotta unload everything into the church kitchen. I can't do that by myself. Five minutes, though. No, not five minutes. Now. No. Now, or else no. I get the ice water. Ma, Let's I'm not go. Let's old. go. Go. Let's go. Hey, Liz. Good morning. Good morning. Could I get a latte and a toasted apple butter muffin, please? Sure. Lynn. Bring Olivia's muffin over here. You get your own muffin. Come here. Oh, <laughs> I'm not interested in your muffin at the moment. I just want some company. Okay. I got a few minutes. But you're buying. Absolutely. So how's it going? How's Reva? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I dream of a day when people will stop asking me that question. I will never stop asking you that question. I don't ask you about your exes. I'm not in love with any of my exes. Well, that hurts. <gasps> Let's just, okay, okay, okay. I can, I can handle that. Let's just change the subject. How are you? How are you, how are you doing? Business is fine. Good. And it's good. And? And nothing. I find myself in a holding pattern at the moment. Really? Mm -hmm. Olivia Spencer without a project, how yeah, interesting. I didn't say I didn't have a project. I just can't do anything about it right now. So you're looking for, uh, you're looking for a way to fill your uh, time. Excuse me, Olivia. Huh? Here's your muffin. Oh, thank you. It's my muffin. Hands off my muffin. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. See, it's not so bad. We're making good time. We might even have time to stop and get you an egg sandwich. You don't let me have those. It's a special day. No, it's not. <laughs> We're going to make it a special day. And it's going to be Happy Fun Times Cookie Day. Again? Hey, right, stop. Come on, can we just go? Yeah, can I have that yeah. one smile? Just a, a little smile? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's good. It's good smile. Uh, it's just so strange to see you at loose ends like it's that. Not I'm not at loose ends. Oh, come on. You're wandering the earth like a nomad. You're eating breakfast alone. No, I was going to work. You were the one who was eating breakfast alone. Yeah, well, that's true. I would have eaten alone, too. Makes us sort of pathetic, doesn't it? We're independent. You know what? I think that's true. In fact, I like being alone. I prefer it because I don't actually like people. Uh-huh. There's just times, you know, like uh, breakfast, lunch. Lying in bed alone at night. 
leaving you now. It's not that difficult to figure out. You're a guy. Guys have needs. And women don't have those same needs. I didn't say that. So you do have needs. I. Yes, but I. I don't really know what to do with them. Well, you just have to come up with something uh, that helps you to get all that energy out. That's all. You know, uh, go to the gym, weed the garden. I don't have a garden. Volunteer for a service project. Is that what you do? Yes, it is. When I feel those needs, I find someone I can help. Mm -hmm. And then I help them. Helping is good. Mm. Helping is good. After breakfast. Keep it to itself. All right, here. You're all set, right? What? Come on, you've got people coming to help you. You don't need my help. No, I don't... I don't know how many people are going to come to help me. Fine. I've never been in charge of this committee Ma, before. come on. You're going to be fine. I am asking you to please stay. Ma, Look, honestly, I've just had about as much of this happy, fun, cookie day thing as I can take right now. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil your day. Come on, ma. All right. Yeah, I'm here. I am all set. I am ready to bake. No, no one else is here yet. So the sooner you can get here, that would be great. Oh. Um, yeah, no, no, of course. Timmy's sick. There's nothing you can do. Okay. Well, thank you for calling. Uh, maybe next month. Okay, bye-bye. Place. What are you doing here? I heard there was baking going on. Uh, th no, there's supposed to be some baking going on, but no one showed up. And I have to make 50 dozen cookies by this evening. We should be able to do that. Yeah, the, the two of us? Mm -hmm. I brought help. Surprise! <gasps> Hi, honey. Oh, so happy to see you. So are we making chocolate chip? I, I guess we are. Okay, four dozen down. How many more do we have to go? Um, 46 dozen? Very good! Okay, all right. Uh, so what kind are we doing next? Do we do oatmeal or should we do some peanut butter? Peanut butter. Peanut butter, okay. Mm. Two jars of peanut butter over there. Go open them. Look at her. She loves baking cookies with you. We both do. How did you know to come here? I signed up. There was a sign-up sheet going around the Sunday school class. Mm -hmm. yeah, you did not sign up in Sunday school. <laughs> there was a flyer on your fridge, and I love to bake. Well, that's good. Because we have 46 dozen to go. OK. We have to give these away. Yeah, I know. I think good. We'll do snickerdoodles. Oh, they're amazing. So good. Here, yeah. bite. 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 Mm. Mm. I oh, think God. these are my favorite so far. Oh, mine too. Huh? Definitely. When are we making the chocolate chips? Mm. Well, I don't know that we can. To see, somebody's been sneaking the chocolate chips out of the bag before we even got started, and I don't think we have enough. But I only took a handful. Jelly Bean, I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> you saw that, huh? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. I like keeping an eye on you. Yeah. And every time you think we're not looking, you sneak the chips I out of the bag. Sure. OK, well, at least I don't have my fingers all in the dough every time we turn our backs. Can I do that? Go right ahead, baby. Mm-hmm. OK, my to hell. Hi. 
Wait. We made some sugar-free cookies for you already. Did you? Okay, let's go then. Just in time for chocolate chip if you want. Um. I'm not wearing anything. Hmm. Deal. Okay then. Cookies. Okay. That was a lot of work, huh? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, well, there's only ten dozen more to go. Oh, no, I'm sorry, guys. I can't stay so young. I gotta go. Wait, do you really have to go? Because this is the most family time we've had together no, since you got home. Um, look, I like this and all, but I just I can't handle too much of it at the same time, okay? Alright. Excuse me, you. Can you do me a favor? Can you uh can you keep you two ladies in check, please? I'll try. Okay. Bye, Olivia. Take care. Okay. Bye. Right. I gotta go. Bye. He showed up. That's that's big. He left so quickly, though. One little step at a time. Come on. Did you make a mess? No. <laughs> Hi, Natalia, it's me. I know that you're meeting with Rafe's parole officer, but I've got our cookies here, and they smell delicious. And um, I just, I had such a good time yesterday, and Emma did too, and who knew that service could put such a smile on your face? Or maybe it was just you. Anyway, call me when the meeting's done, okay? Bye. To get some. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. This is a really, really good book. <laughs> yeah, you should read it. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't. I'm sorry. Uh, can I help you? <laughs> um, yeah, I just I, I wanted to get a cup of coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Regular coffee. Um, yeah, you take milk, right? It's I do. Over there on the counter. Thanks. Oops, this one's out. Okay. So, thank you. You're welcome. So I thought that um, I thought that you wrote those things. I didn't know you read them too. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm thinking about getting back into publishing, actually, yeah. and I had to figure out what was out there that was hot, and um, it was really hot. It was really hot. <laughs> I never read those kinds of books. I never really had the need for it, actually. So. Oh, I never have either, but times change, so. How are you? Me, I'm fine. You are? Mm-hmm. You seem a little off. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna probably get some- I'm coffee, sorry. My coffee. I won't pry. No, okay. okay. Hey, Frank. Something up with Olivia. She seems something. Something's up. I think. I uh, I brought a big jar of olives up from the basement for you. Okay. You did. Save you a trip. Okay? Oh, thank you, Frank. You're such a stand-up guy. Love you. Hi there. Hi. You need some milk? Need something. Seems to be the problem. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't even know why I opened the hood. I, I, isn't that what you do when a car won't start? Would you like me to take a look? I mean, you know, I fixed a stroller yesterday, maybe a mono roll. How bad it's all yours. You haven't said that to me in a really long time. Oh. Uh, 
Excuse me one uh. second. Battery cables are loose. Uh, I don't suppose you have a, a crescent wrench, maybe a pair of pliers, something like that. What's the difference? You know, maybe if I jiggle it just a little bit, uh, we can establish some uh, contact. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. But, you know, you did it so well. <laughs> yeah, you did it really well, too. And if this were any other time, I would... Stop. Gladly. Stop. Don't... Don't be giving me that speech about how, you know, it's, it's not you, it's me, because we've known each other for a long time. And I'm already very aware that it's not me, it's you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> I happen to have my own tools available. <laughs> so I'll see what I can do to get you going. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can say now. It's, it's going to just all go in that lovely territory. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's not worry about it. I'll be right back. All set. So next time, you know, you have a problem, something you need, you just feel free to give me a call. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Look at that. Exhale as you relax down to the child's pose. Mm. Relax, Olivia, relax, relax, relax. Come on to your hands and knees, bringing your hips to the floor and lifting your head into upward facing dog. We'll stay here. Now let your body go. Feel the connection to the earth as your body presses onto the floor. Oh, okay, that's not working. Oh. I just, I could tell that there was something that was a little unsettled about you earlier. Oh, no, no, no. I was, I was just reading and, and trying to figure out, you know, what, what the... That's okay. I mean, really, there's no need to be embarrassed. A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. What are you doing here? I love this store. This stuff is great. I mean, they... Actually, they have more in the back. Is that right? Yeah. I, look, I just, I was browsing. I wasn't really going to buy anything, so. I, it was kind of weird when I first got anything like this, but I got to tell you, it's been a while since Ross, so. I, I understand. Um, no, I don't, I don't need this. I, I, I have plenty of opportunities. Oh. Well, it's not about opportunities. I mean, I have opportunities. It's, it's it's about what is out there and who and you having control over it and I don't know, just fitting it into your schedule. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. Really. Well, if you do think about it, this this little number that you just were hanging on to is not very good. It doesn't work. Really? Yeah. 
a silver one. <laughs> Extremely satisfactory. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you, my dear, should have gotten the red one because it looked really good on you. Oh, I think the red one was a little much. Uh, I've got wine. Would you like some? Oh. Okay, yeah. Half a glass. I still have to go back to work and, you know, there are an awful lot of empty calories. Oh, yeah, calories. I should think of that. Yeah. So, the next time you're at that store, Go to the back. So many more choices. Yeah, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this one, so. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yes you do. You know what you're gonna do with this one. I don't, I don't, I don't know that I need this one. That's... Well, um, yeah, all I can say is that it works. It works for me. It saves, saves me from making a lot of bad choices. Well, you know, not all my choices are bad. I turned down sex with Josh Lewis. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Yep. He's very sexy. Yep. I find him very attractive. He is. Which is not what I'm looking for. I don't know how you can be so blase about sex. I miss it. Oh, I miss it too. Yeah. Mm. You know, it took me a, a while after Ross died. But eventually I realized that <laughs> it's just who I am. I mean, it's a big part of who I am. <sighs> I understand the feeling. Mm -hmm. And how can you just give it up so easily? Who's giving it up? I was, I was, I was sick. I, you know, I had to do the whole heart thing. And you have Gus's heart. And then, you know, recovery and taking care of Emma and, you know, it's... Are you telling me you haven't had sex since before Gus died? Well, when you put it that way, it makes it sound like it's a really long time. Honey, that is a long time. It is. It is. Okay, so how long do you hold out? I mean, do you just wait for the love of your life? I mean, it's just sex. On the other hand, I miss Ross every single day. I think he'll always be the love of my life. I give up sex in an instant just to have one hour with him. to be done. Yeah, I was gonna do it. I just had, I had to go to work. No, nah, no. Nah. Um, but don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take care of it and I'll do it tomorrow too. Okay. I'll remember you said that. Yeah. Uh, you want me to get you something to drink? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ma. What? I had a good time with you and Frank today. Me too. And I want to say that I know that I can kind of be a handful, especially since I came back, but I mean, I, re I, really, I really don't mean to give you a hard time. You're not, you're not giving me a hard time. You know, I've just, uh, I've just been trying to figure out, you know, what the right thing to do is, and... It helps me to talk to Frank and to hang out with him. You know, I have things that I'm, I'm still working through and I like him, he's a good guy. Good. You know, I, uh, and I understand you don't love him, whatever, that's fine, but I just think it was, Every once in a while, I kind of, I could have seen him like being my dad or something like that. I didn't mean. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just, I, I can see why you like them. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go get you some juice or something. Okay. Oh, ma. Yeah. Um, some guy called earlier today. 
But he didn't say who it was? Or? Oh, no, it wasn't for you. It was for me. Um, about an interview I had earlier this week. About a, a job that I got. That you got? Yeah. <gasps> Oh my god, that's so great! Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. It's just a part-time job, like the storage part of a hardware store. Yeah, so. it's a job. It's a job, and you did it all by yourself. I did do it all by myself. Yes. It's true. And you know what's funny? I went to church today, and um, I was talking to God, and I thanked him for bringing you home to me. <laughs> And they may have mentioned something about you getting a job, and look what did he did. You? He's quick, huh? Yeah. He loves us, baby. He really, he really loves us. He does. I'm so happy. Right. Love you. Oh. <laughs> Ma. Ma, stop. Don't do that. I'll do that, I'll do that later. No, no, I'm fine. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. All right, you don't mind if I go for a run really quick, do you? No, go right ahead. Yeah? Will you please just... Think about waiting for dinner, so I know. Okay. 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 Right, love you. Okay. Well, Rafe looked happy. I haven't seen a smile like that in a while. He got a job. <gasps> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he did it all by himself, too. He didn't want any help. Oh, he's a good kid. He is. And, and I, I really feel like this is kind of a big turning point for him, you know? And that pretty soon he'll be more adjusted, and then we won't have to wait anymore. Well, that's what I wanted to tell you, because I don't want to see our situation as waiting, you know? I just, I want to cherish every moment I have with you for whatever it is. Is that... Really sounding way too mushy. No, no it's not too mushy. But I love, I love hearing that. I do, and I love spending every second with you that I can. But I do want more. So do I. But you know, if we if we never have more, if we end up just being two friends who love each other more than anything in this world, I'll still want it. I don't mind giving up other things just to be with you. I miss this. I miss everything about us. You know, I think about you all the time. I can't think about anything else. I can't either. I do, and I feel like I'm always going to see you around every corner, and I'm always looking for you and, and at the back of your head or All something. day that you call me, and I can't take it anymore, so I just call you. Well, I just call you, and I listen to your voice on voicemail, and then I hang up. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I think that's wonderful. But I... I want this. I want. I want this all the time. You know. And I... <sighs> we might have to give up some things if we're going to be together. I don't want to give up anything. I don't. I want. I want all of it. I want all of the things that people in love share. I want that too. I could sit here, I mean forever, just stare at you. And I'd be completely content. You know, being near you is all I need to. Not that I don't want to hold you and let you know how I feel. But if sex never happens, I won't love you any less. Well, it will. I wanted to. You do? Do you? I'm, I, do you? Yeah, yeah. I just, I want it to be, I want it to be okay. Oh, I, I will. I mean, I'm not afraid. Are you afraid? I'm terrified. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too, I am, but I love you. And 
we'll figure it out. I never thought I could have anything like this. I certainly didn't do anything to deserve this. <laughs> That's not true. Everything about you is alive and passionate. You make me so happy. I do. You know you do. Yeah, I, know. I just want to do you something. I know you do, because you want the grand gesture. And I, I don't know, what, should I get up and do my I, uh, I Love Olivia dance? Yeah, I'd like to make see you happy? that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work on it <laughs> Hi. Hi. How was your run? It was good. Hey, your mom said you got a job. Congratulations. Where are you working? At a hardware store. Which is fabulous, because it's a job, and he did it all by himself. She's very proud of you. Yes. You know what we should do? Celebrate. Yeah. Would you do that? We maybe go get Emma, and then we could just all have dinner together? Or... Oh, we'd love that. That'd be great. Should I bring something? Um, I don't know. I could see what we have inside, and then maybe you could bring something. I have, um, I know I have corn on the cob. <laughs> okay. Does that sound good? I like corn. Okay. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm a little, I'm a little sweaty. Mm. Well, dinner's a good idea. I, I think so. This is all gonna work out. It was meant to. some potato salad to go with the chicken, and then if you want, you can bring a green salad and some dessert. Okay. This is a good idea. It is. Afterward, we can pop some popcorn, we can watch a movie. Emma would love that. I would love that. This is all gonna work out. It is gonna work out. Yeah. So what time is dinner? Two hours. Okay. Okay. I'll see you then. Bye. Just sign Maureen up for the 4th of July float. You're gonna sign up, Emma? I, yeah, I should do that. It's a good idea. I'll do it next time I'm around here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd offer you a ride, but there's uh, handlebar laws here in Springfield right now. Is that right? Yeah. It's okay, I don't mind walking. You mind some company? I'll, I'll walk with you. You don't have to. No, no, I want to. Olivia, Olivia, can you, can you open up, please? I want to talk to you. Oh, uh, hey, Rafe. Hey, Jen. Uh, is Olivia here? I kind of want to speak to her about something. Oh, hi, Rafe. Come on in. Hey. Hey, Emma. Since Rafe is here, I'm going to go see my friend. The one we don't tell mommy about. Olivia doesn't like me to date hotel employees. So. It's, it's whatever. It's fine. I'll go. What's up, little one? You want to play video games? Uh, sure. Hey, um, what's that from? That's from Family Day. I took it at school. I wrote a paper. Everyone loved it. Can I see it? You got an A. Um, what's my mom doing at your family day? We all live together, and Natalia is my mom's best friend. Best friend, best friends like, best friends like Jane and her friend? No, silly. It's different. It's not a secret that our moms like each other. Everyone knows that they're BFFs. Oh, are you headed to help uh, Frank move? Uh, no. No. 
Go in the mall? No. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know. I don't know. Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, can I ask you a question? Uh, you remember that time a long time ago when my mother walked down the aisle up to the altar with Frank and then she kind of ran out? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, I was there. You were there. Okay, yeah. you remember. Okay, good. I want to know why. Why? Why run away? Why couldn't she have just told Frank sometime before the wedding that she didn't want to marry him? Well, maybe she didn't realize till right then. I mean, maybe she changed her mind all of a sudden. No, people don't do that. People don't just change. Or do they? Do you just, out of nowhere, suddenly change your mind from one thing to the next? I change my mind, like, every day. You do. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. I think it's just that women are complicated. We're hard to understand. That's true. Yeah. I know. Okay. So, I just, um, I just wanted to come visit and let you know that we're all doing okay. Um, I know that you've probably seen that Rafe was having a hard time, but, um, I think things are turning around. Um, you probably know, you know, about the rest of what's going on with um, me and Olivia. It's really good, Gus. It makes me really happy. And I know that that would make you happy. So, <laughs> um, I'll see you. Watch out for Rafe for me, okay? Did you see that Al Gore movie? Yeah, I did. When I saw that, I thought, you know, I gotta, I gotta do something. That's when I bought, I bought the bike. Started riding everywhere, and you know what? It's pretty great because you get out, and you. You see people, you meet your neighbors like like you and me. This is this is nice, right? It's very nice. You know what? We should um, you hike. I we do. should get together and, and and hike sometime. I yes, but I you know the thing is is that right now I have a lot going on. So thank you so much right. for carrying my sure. bag. I know sure. it's heavy, and uh, I have to get going. I, I have to be somewhere. So yeah, me too. I got to meet uh, Bill and Lizzie, but um, it's it's good walking with you. you too. Thanks All right. again. All right, take care. You all settled? Yeah, pretty much done. Uh, did you sign up Marine for the parade, or did you use it as an excuse not to help me with the rest of the boxes? <laughs> all signed up. Guess who I ran into? Who's that? Olivia. Really? How'd that go? She had absolutely no interest in me whatsoever. Really? Yeah, you know, the bike usually wins them over, but uh, not this time. Failed me. Oh, well. Yeah. Ready? Set, go! Oh, hey, this is really nice. Yeah. I thought it would be nice to have it out here, you know? Make it special. Well, it's special because we're together. Mm -hmm. Did you pick a movie? Yeah, it's kind of hard to find one that both kids are gonna like, but... I know. Yeah, you know, just, we'll stuff them full of popcorn and they'll watch anything. Stuff me with enough popcorn, I like it. Doesn't really go with champagne inside of us. I don't think it changes. I wanted to be special. Some, let's pour Here, right now. <laughs> take this one then. What do you say? Oh, that's for you. He did care. Was never there. That's what you said to me. Ma! The great divide. What are you doing? You inside until you couldn't breathe. Said you knew just what you had to do. Why are you doing that? 
We're getting ready for dinner. With freaking champagne, Ma? Yes, you got a new job. Olivia thought it would be nice to celebrate. I got cider for you and Emma, sparkling cider. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking to you right now, seriously. Don't talk to her like that. Excuse Have me? a little respect, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to respect my elders, right? Yes. And I'm supposed to mind my manners, and I'm supposed to go to church, and I'm supposed to read the Bible, and I'm supposed to do all those other rules and regulations that God and, and people have, have given us, what, right? What is wrong with you? Ma, what the heck was going on just now? Tell me, all right? Please, just tell me. Oh my God. I didn't want you to find out like this. No. Look, Rafe, your mother was waiting for you to get settled in before she said anything to you. How did... I'm not stupid. All right, I may have done a lot of stupid things in my life, but I'm not stupid. We're friends. We really didn't expect any of this to happen. I bought a vase for the flowers. Can I go pick them? You know what? Um, I forgot I have something to do back at the hotel, so I'm going to take you back there. I think Jane is still there. But I'm going to stay with Natalia and Rafe. I got a movie to watch later. It's Garth. You're going to like it. We can, um, we can watch the movie some other time, OK? Yeah. Come on, baby. It's going to be OK. Ma, please, please just tell me she forced you into this. Tell me, I know she has a reputation. Oh. Tell me she, she did something to oh, you. She has something brave. on you. Of course she didn't force me into oh, anything. Oh, no. Ma, I seen you guys in the okay, post. Okay, okay, please, please, please gonna... say I didn't intend for you to find out like that ever. <sighs> what are you going to do, ma? Huh? You're just going to keep lying to me and pretend like this it wasn't, it wasn't happening? That you guys were just friends? Until what? Not until, 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 until you were ready. Oh until we could God. figure out the right way to tell you and when to tell you and we were gonna, we were gonna both tell Emma. What? Ma, she's a little girl. What kind of things are to tell a little kid? What does that say about, what does that say about you and Gus? Ma, what does that say about me? It has nothing to do with how I feel about you Ma, look, or about Gus. Please, if anything, stop. Just tell me. Tell me this is some type of weird itch you need to scratch. Please, tell me that's all it is, and it's gonna, it, it, and it's, it'll be over soon. I can't tell you that. Hi. I can't. And, and if you're old enough to ask the question, then you're old enough to hear the answer. I'm in love with Olivia. <laughs> Jane, look, I um, I will be home as soon as I can, okay? Okay, bye. You know, it's the, those olives, they, 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 uh, they, they make you real thirsty. Yeah, not today, Billy. I can't do this, okay? Well, that's usually when you need to sit down and have a talk about why those olives are making you so thirsty. You wouldn't understand. Try me. I can't. It would be betraying the trust of someone that I love. Rafe. Ma. I don't believe it. All right, I won't believe, I refuse to believe this. I right, can, please just tell me what she has on you. Oh, come on. What has she got Rafe. on you, Ma? I, you don't love her. I do. You don't! No! Not that way, Ma! She is, look, she has Gus's heart. I get that. All right? And, and you, guys, you guys have that in common, and you got confused. One thing led to another, and she took advantage well, of you. She didn't take advantage of me, Rafe. Please! Olivia's got a strong personality, but that's what I love about her. And she makes me feel better about myself. And when I'm with her, it feels right. And I need her. Ma. Maybe you did. Maybe you did because Gus passed away and I was in prison. But mommy, I'm back now. All right, I'm back and I can take care of you just fine. You can, you can end all this stuff before it gets any weirder, please. 
It's not weird, Rafe. It's love. And I don't want to end it. I want us to be a family. And I understand that that's a lot to take in right now. But as soon as you can get over this anger and your confusion... You Ma, me. you want us to be a family? Who? What, me and you and, and, and uh, Olivia and Emma? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. You love Emma and she loves you like you're her big brother. And that's what counts. That's what you hold on to. The years that we spent in church, huh? What about all the time that we spent lighting candles? What about the time I spent on my knees praying, huh? What about the man that I'm supposed to be and the world that I'm supposed to believe in? None of that means nothing to you at all. All you care about is you and Olivia and what you guys get, right? If that's the case, then both of you can go. Both of you can just go to hell, all right? Because that's, what, that's where you're gonna go anyway. No, nah, you know what? Go! Go get your girl, all right? Because you guys deserve each other. Rafe. Bye! Bye! Rafe! Frank? Hey. Did you see Rafe? Uh, well, he might have come by when I was at the park. Okay, um, if you just see him, will you just uh, either Tell him to call me or, or, you know, just try to keep him here or, you what? know, I forget, just, you call me. You just call me. What happened? He found out about me and Olivia. You told him? I, I was going to tell him, but he, he saw us and then How could you guys be out. so careless? How could please, you let that happen? Frank, please, I feel bad enough as it is. I'm, I'm going to go find him now. Just... Hi. Hey. Can we talk? Ugh. This is my alone time. I really, I really need to talk to you, please. I don't know, I don't know who else to turn to. What is it? You know that, that Natalia and I have been taking things slow, and we, we wanted to be very cautious because of the kids, and we wanted to tell Rafe first, but he's been having such a hard time since he got out of prison. I mean, the good news is that he actually got a job today. Well, I know that. I made sure that he got it. Look, I know that you and Natalia wanted to wait for him to get settled, and I just thought I would help you out. He's excited about it. That's good. We're excited about it. And we got hopeful, and we wanted to celebrate, and, um... Wraith saw us together. Close. And he figured <sighs> it out. Mm. And he didn't take it well. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a way to find out. I know. And Natalia wanted so much to protect him, to make it easier for him so that he could understand. Well, maybe, maybe he still will. Yeah, maybe. You should have seen Rafe's face. I mean, Natalia's talking to him right now. Should I go over there? No. <laughs> Just, you know what, give, give them some time. I mean... That's a lot for a kid to take in all at once. I know that. I, I just don't want her to feel like she's alone with this. This, it's terrible because it's not what we wanted. It's not. We were we were waiting for the perfect moment. You know what? I waited for the perfect moment, and that moment never came. Ashley still doesn't know. Look, you know what? Maybe it's just perfect that this is the way he found out. I hope so. Actually, I wasn't expecting you. No, did you see the press conference with Bill and Lizzie? Yes, I did. I planned that in like less than half an hour. <laughs> Honey, I'm so proud oh, of you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, I'm sorry for interrupting. I figured you guys would be alone. I know, we, that's fine. We were just um, yeah. talking about children and uh, the importance of doing the right thing with them. Do we need to go look for him? 
Hmm. I'll just come home when he's ready. What do you say? He's very angry. Confused. I'm sorry it wasn't fair for him to find out like this. I didn't do a very good job explaining. I didn't really get to say all the things that I really wanted to say. So what does this mean for us? I feel so bad for that family. First, Reva is arrested for killing Edmund, and now it looks like it might be Jeffrey. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna make any moves until I line up all the evidence. Yeah, um, listen, I gotta go customers, but I'll call you later. I'm oh, sorry, not really a customer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was just, um, wondering if your dad was around. I was hoping I'd bump into him, maybe. Actually, he's, um, probably at home. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna really go by there. Your Rafe is there. Yeah, I know. Your dad's a really good guy. Yes, he is. He's a really great guy. And I would really appreciate you not taking advantage of that. Hey! Hi. How are ya? Good. Good. Colin and I just were out buying uh, Fourth of July decorations. It's going to be his first Fourth of July with sparklers. Well, <laughs> yay! Yeah. Em and I don't do that decorating stuff. No. Well, I mean, we did it at Christmas at the farmhouse. It well, it's never sweet. too late. You know, you just go out and buy red, white, and blue decorations. Somebody get that bunning around the hotel door. <laughs> That's true. And I, I think she misses out sometimes because we are at a hotel and the farmhouse was nice. Yeah. How's your life? Oh, uh, except for that pesky little murder charge hanging over my head, everything's fine. I need to talk to you about <laughs> yeah. that. Those are tough. Yeah, but we're handling it fine. I mean, Jeffrey is, uh, he's just there, you know? He's, he's always there for me. I'm very lucky to have him. You are very lucky to have someone like him, yeah. Yeah, well, you don't have to tell me that twice. I should uh, probably get home. Yeah, get my decorating done. It's good to see you. You too. Take care. Hello? Hey, Frank. Do you think Rafe will talk to me now? Uh, it's your mother. You want to talk to her? Mm -hmm. Uh, Natalia, you know what? He, uh, he just, uh, walked out the door. How's he doing? Well, Natalia, I mean, what, what, what do you think? You know, he, he's hurt. You know, he's confused and he just doesn't understand and all that. I mean, do you think he would? I guess I, I didn't think that. You know, you're right. You, you didn't. Okay, well, thank you, Frank, for taking care of him. Will you, will you call me? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll call you. But you know what, Natalia, don't worry. You'll be fine. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but which part of don't take advantage of my dad wasn't clear? Marina, I was just checking on Reef. I didn't plan on any of this to happen. No, see, I tell you, that's the problem. You don't plan on anything to happen. Life just seems to happen to you. And then everyone else around you has to pay the price. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make this situation. No, you just seem to fall into situations and then you react to them without taking any responsibility or control. And that is when people get hurt, like my dad. Nice holiday, the 4th of July. The entire country celebrates it together. Yeah. <laughs> well, happy for it. Father, um, I just, I wanted to thank you for your support and your, your understanding regarding Natalia and me. 
I'm sorry, but I, I don't support your relationship. I understand things are difficult for Natalia. I understand that both of you love each other. But circumstances shouldn't justify your actions. That would be a mistake for the both of you, for all the people in your lives. So Natalia should just, I mean, the church should tell her what to do, what not to do? I mean, no, that, no, that's... no. I don't want to make decisions for Natalia. She's got to make her own choices in life, as you do. But both of you have had a lot going on. There's been a lot of turmoil in your life since you both got together. And when you're in the middle of something like that, I just don't think you can make clear choices. I'm sorry. Happy Fourth of July, Father. Okay. Happy, happy Fourth. You know, I'm glad you stopped by. Um, can I talk to you about something? Rather, someone? Sure, I could use a distraction. Cool. It's about your friend, Natalia. She needs to stop letting the events of her life dictate her actions. Okay, is this about... It's about the you... fact that whatever seems to happen to Natalia just seems to happen, and then everybody else is left to pick up the pieces. It's like she just reacts to whatever's in front of her, you know? And for you, for example, my dad says, marry me, and she says yes. Why? Because it's there. Not that my dad even... Okay, look, she, 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 she... No, 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 stop. Come on, she's a good person, and she knows what she wants. Well, you wouldn't know that to be around her. And my dad just can't keep getting pulled into her life because she can't stand on her own two feet. What is it you want me to do? I don't know, talk to her. Tell her that she needs to take control of her own life. You're her friend. Maybe she'll listen to you. Hi. Hey. Uh, Rafe's not here. Yeah, I, did, I didn't think he would be. I was just over at company. I'm not trying to intrude or anything. I just, I wanted to see how he's doing. He's good. He's, uh, he's taking his meds. He's watching his sugar. Good. Yeah. He's a good kid. He actually made me something to eat before he left today. He's a pretty good cook. <laughs> yeah, he is. So you... Do you think that he's... Okay, I mean, after finding out. Natalia, no. It's not okay. I mean, did you really think he would be okay? I thought. You see, see, that's just the thing. You weren't thinking. You weren't thinking at all. You got caught up in your own little world with Olivia and. That's not what this is. Well, you know what? That's what it looks like. It really does. I mean, it, it just doesn't seem like you. And that's very confusing to Rafe. It's confusing to a lot of us. Hi. Hi. But you had a lower lobby staff meeting. Yeah, I got it wrapped up pretty quick. I wanted to come talk to you. Good, I want to talk to you too. How's Rafe? Frank says he's okay. He still won't talk to me. Don't worry about that. He's gonna come around. He will. I don't know. The way things are going right now, I don't know. What does that mean? Don't... Don't sit. Sit. Um. No, that's not... That's what she's throwing. I know how I feel about you. But I've been thinking a lot about what it must look like from the outside. And I don't want Rafe or anyone else to think that we're together because of our situation. You know, I mean, I know we know that this is real, but I think about it. It's, I love Gus. You love Gus. You get sick. Gus dies. You get his heart. We become friends. I nurse you back to health. 
you give me a job, you help me out with Rafe, we end up moving in together, Frank asked me to marry him, and then I run away from my own wedding, and then you're right there to pick up the pieces, and then Rafe gets out of jail, and he needs to adjust, and just, it's okay, a lot, right, and I don't, right, I don't right, want to. All right, all right, all right. I agree. You do? Yeah. I love you. And I know how I feel, but I don't want to give anyone the chance to think that what we have exists because of our circumstances. I don't, I don't want either one of us to ever feel that way. I want everyone to know that even if we're separate, without the drama, I choose you. I choose you too. So this means we, we take a step back and we don't let you know, everything that's happening in our lives be what brings us together, right? How do we do that? I think I need to quit my job. Well, that might make it sound like I didn't like working here. No. No, 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 but the letter has to sound like you're moving on, like, you know, there's no place for you to move up in the company. Yeah, I, I know. You know what you're doing. I don't... And then I'll write a really lovely letter of recommendation, and you can go out and... We're not going to see each other as much. But we'll see each other because we want to, not because of all the craziness in our lives, right? So, really, what do you think? I think I just quit. You want to help me write your letter of recommendation? Yes, because I know all my best qualities. What's up, big boy? Hey. What's up? How you What's doing? Up? How's the new place? How's Rafe? Uh, he's fine. He's fine. He's got a lot of adjusting to do, but uh, he'll get there. You are too good, Dad. I told Natalia that today. He, he did what? Yeah. I told her that you were one of the greatest guys in the whole world, and she needed to stop taking advantage of that. And then I saw Olivia, and I told her that she needed to straighten Natalia out. Well, I don't think Olivia will ever um, <clears throat> straighten out Natalia, but... Henry, this is Towers. This is where we take our best girls, especially when they defend you, like my daughter did for me today. You don't have to sell it so far, Dad. I really don't think he understands a word you're saying. <laughs> Whoa, okay. You know, he's nine months old. Do you think he can taste the cheesecake? Oh. Okay, okay, here, 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 here. Is that good? <gasps> it's oh, really cute. <laughs> I want to say that I'm sorry. I, I can't take your advice that you gave me earlier about Natalia, the one who can't control her own situations because she came into my office today and she handed me her letter of resignation. Was there a problem? No, we're still great friends, and I gave her a good recommendation. She just wants to make some different decisions for her life. Thought you should know. I know you'd have to come home eventually. Why aren't you at work? I don't have a job right now. What, will Olivia fire you? No, I just, I decided maybe it's time to try something different. You can try a lot of different things, now. Huh? Rafe, I don't expect you not to be angry, but you still have to show me some respect. I'm always going to be your mother. No, yeah, I know, I just... You're not the mother that I thought I knew. I'm gonna pick you up early from camp and we're gonna go buy Ray for present, okay? Video games. Right, right. I was thinking the one where it shows you how to make a do a makeover. Would that be great? I don't think he likes that one. I think he likes the one with race cars. Race cars. Maybe you should pick out the video. 
Okay, but who else is coming to his birthday party? Honey, there might not be a party because big boys don't really always want parties. But if there isn't, we have to be extra nice to him, okay? Okay, okay. have fun. Mwah, go. That is uh, not a good way to start your day. This is how all my days start these days. Oh, it sucks to be you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I was like I'm really depressed. Just. Well, how about I make your day a little better and uh, buy you a cup of coffee? That'd be great. Thank you. Guess I should get some more <laughs> eggs or. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll clean, clean this up and you, up you get bit. some more eggs. Thank you. I have to bake a cake for my son. It's his birthday. From scratch? Yeah, I have to make it sugar-free. Rafe's diabetic. Huh. What about your coffee? You, uh, you take that sugar-free? No. Lots of sugar. Mm. And milk. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You want to get the egg? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I made the canvas bag. <laughs> Anytime. You know, they say it's good to be green. Yes. You know, I'm riding the bike everywhere. It's great. It's great exercise. Yeah, well, gets me around. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sure it does. Hi. Hi. Hey. My lucky day. Two beautiful ladies for the price of one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, I got to get going. Uh, good luck with the cake. Thank you. And thank you for the coffee. Hey, anytime. All right. I'll see you two around. Okay. I'm going to take Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank All you. Right. Have fun. Bye. You have fun. <laughs> Was he hitting on you? I, I don't know. Like, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. He did. He did the old bike routine on me the other day. He did? Was, you know, I want to buy him a bell for that thing. He's cute. He is cute. He is. So you, um, bake and rafe a cake? Mm. I'm probably going to have to bring it to him, though. I don't think he'll come over or anything. You know, Emma wants to get him a gift. Is it okay if we drop it by later? Sure. Yeah. You gonna be okay? <laughs> Say yes. Yes. And I'll call you. Okay. Well, we cordoned off Jeffrey's office, but we still haven't been able to get into his office computer. Did you ask Sanchez? <sighs> yeah, he's on his way. Listen, if anybody can hack that password, he can. Uh, you know what? I, I, I gotta go. Hey, uh, Rafe, listen, I, uh, I gotta go run some errands, okay? I gotta go get some sugar-free snacks and all that. So why, uh, why don't you, uh, why don't you go to your house, okay? Go see your mom. Frank, look, I'm not gonna go over there just cause, and talk to her just because it's my birthday. Well, you know, birthdays sometimes are always... Uh, Aren't about the birthday boy or the birthday girl. Right. You know, no, I don't a lot, wanna... lot of parents enjoy that family, you know. I don't want to go over there. I don't want to know what's going on. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to. Look, I, I don't know what's going on with Olivia and your mother right now. Frank, come on, man. You don't know. Don't deny your mother of a very special day, okay? It's your birthday today. She's your mother. Yeah. I know you're mad at her right now, but you still love her, right? You do. Hey, come on. Hey. Call her. Mm-hmm. Hey. I'm making your cake. <laughs> you want to help? Tradition, you know, we make it together. And the pastel is already. Yeah, yeah, I smell them. You're gonna have some with me, right? Of course. Hey. Hi. Are you here to get ready for card? Yeah, you? Yeah. You. No, 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 go no, ahead, really. go ahead. Um. 
How much do you think about putting inside? Actually, I was going to take Emma to get him a present. You know, if you want to get both of them a gift, maybe you should give them the gift of time and space so they can fix things between them. Why don't you leave them alone? What if Natalia needs me, Frank? Just be careful. Oh, there, Jelly Bean. How was camp? Good. Katie said that, um, Call of oh, Duty. Call of Duty? Yeah. yeah. It's a really good video game. It's also very violent, from what I understand. It's for boys. It doesn't make it right. Listen, um, you get that we're going to get him a present, but that doesn't mean that he's actually going to be around to get it, right? Can we at least get one so he knows that we love him? Yes, we can. Okay. Yeah, I came here last night because I wanted to talk to you. You know, kind of wanted to see you about whatever. But I, I didn't even make it to the front porch. I know that you're struggling with this. Because I did too, you know, and the and the beliefs that we have, I know that that, just, that it just uh, makes it so much more confusing. I was, are they, are they still your beliefs? I've had a lot of long talks with God about this. And I want to be able to talk to you too, you know, about everything. Because you're not just my son. You've been my best friend for half my life. And I miss you. I miss you too. Oh. All right, your food's getting cold. Eat. You made a lot, ma. I'm gonna be eating these things for like two weeks. Yeah. You know, at some point, maybe the three of us could sit down and have a meal together, you know? And then, then you could see for yourself. All right, mine was really good. All right, thanks. I'm sorry. All right, I gotta go. Happy birthday, Raphael. He's not here. Um, no. That's probably good. Maybe we should just leave our gift and go. We should sing happy birthday. Natalia made cake. Oh, no, no singing today. Rafe was here, but he uh, couldn't stay. He was too busy? He was too busy. Maybe when he's done, he can come back. What do you want us to do? I made a lot of pastelas, and there are plenty for all of us. Don't do it. How'd you know? I've got eyes in the back of my head. Uh. So what am I supposed to do with this cake? Put candles in it. Oh, um, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, we can. Well, that's a good idea. We'll put some candles in it, and then we'll blow them out. All right. Wow, we're going to need a lot. 19. That's right. Here you go. <laughs> stretch, <laughs> stretch. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. <laughs> oh, my turn. Really, we hogging the cake? Yeah. Is that a problem? 
pretzel and the lunchbox cakes. Yeah. I don't know why we're just standing around staring at the cake. Because you're hoping that Rafe will come back? Maybe. It's not going to happen. Look, he, know you made, he knows you made the cake. He saw it. He, he knows that you love him. I was, I was thinking that maybe today might be the day that, you know, if, if there was going to be a time that we were going to start to fix this, this would be it. <laughs> Mom, don't do that. Sorry, but it looks so good. It, it does. It looks really good. And it's a birthday cake, and birthday cakes are meant to be eaten on a birthday. But Rafe's not here. Yeah. But you know what? I think that Rafe would want you to eat this cake. So that means we have to light these candles and, I don't know, somebody has to blow them out. Um, yeah. okay, sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, let's light these. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I think that's enough. It's enough. You ready? You ready? I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. What was that? It was a <laughs> that was terrible. Rand. I know. <laughs> you want some help? I need help. Okay. okay. Mm. One, two, three. Did you guys make a wish too? We made our wish. Can I go watch TV while I'm eating this? Yes, you can. Oh, there you boy. go. Thank you. Eat it all up. <laughs> Sorry. Are you are you gonna have this piece? Because it's sugar free. It's delicious. Oh no. No. No, it's it's really good, I promise. I've had many years to perfect the recipe. I had to make all of his cakes from scratch because you can't find any sugar-free birthday cakes out there. Mm. And I wanted his birthdays to be special. Even though it was just the two of us, you know, we had our little traditions. And I always wanted Rafe to know the day he was born was the best day of my life. You're a good mom. But now that everything gets so messed up. I'm sitting here on my son's birthday in front of his birthday cake and he's not even here. He doesn't even want to be in the same house with me. That's not true. He wants to be in the same house with you. He doesn't want to be in the same house with me. No, he, he doesn't want to be in the same house with us if we're together. You're not going to lose your son. I don't know. You're not going to lose your son. We're not going to let that happen. If our relationship costs you your son, it's not going to survive. We're not going to survive. So we're going to have to figure out a way to bring Rafe back in. Okay. Okay. You know what? <clears throat> I took Emma out of camp so that I could bring her here and Rafe could get his gift, but I have to take her back because of her service project. Oh, I forgot about that. I really wanted to help with that. I have a job interview, but I can reschedule. Don't worry, you've got a lot that? going on. Just go to your interview, okay? We'd love for you to be there because we love you. But it's camp, and we'll be fine. Excuse me. Can I please have um, a shot of vodka? Well, that sounds yummy. Hi. Hi. I'm not really staying. I just, I really needed a little... A little shot, I know. Yeah. It's my son's birthday, and he doesn't want to spend it with me. And I uh, just had a job interview that I thought would go really well, and it did not. I didn't get the job. Hmm. I thought you worked for Olivia. I quit. Oh. Well, I can imagine. I mean, she might be a little difficult to work for. Oh, no, she's wonderful. I just didn't, you know, I didn't want people to... I was just really ready for something different. So I applied for a management job here, and they said that I was overqualified. <laughs> what, what's that about? Don't better qualifications make you a better employee? Depends upon who you work for. Right now, I work for no one. Hmm. I'm hiring. Don't you work a company? No, oh, I'm not hiring for a company. I mean, yes, I do, part-time. 
But I'm also going back into publishing. So I could use an assistant. I'd be willing to give you a shot. A shot? A, sh a shot. It's meant to be. Can I get you a shot? Yeah. Here. <laughs> Mom, can I have my gardening gloves? Mm-hmm. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, this is the funnest thing we've done at camp so far. And it makes the park look beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. They have... Some of the kids have more... People? People. Well, that's because they're different sized families. You got your small families like us, and you got big families with lots of brothers and sisters. I bet they'll plant more than us. Hey. I bet they won't. Natalia! Look at this. I'll go get your tools. OK. Oh. Tools. So how was the interview? <laughs> um, Towers was not interested. Oh, I'm sorry. But Blake Marler was. Blake. She's Blake. going into publishing. She might want an assistant. She's a tough person to work for. Think so? Mm-hmm. That's funny. She said the same thing about you. <laughs>
like which one for my new job? With I'll go with the black. The black's yeah. good. Yeah, okay. Very corporate okay. business stuff. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And hi. I'm hi. sorry. <laughs> did you take your pills this morning? I did. I did. Okay. Are you excited about your first day? Yeah. I don't know anything about publishing. So? But... You didn't know anything about the hotel business, and now look what you know. That's because I had you as a teacher. It's true. I am wonderful. Yes. You know what? This is good. This is good. It's good for people to see that we're mm -hmm. not just together because, you know, our lives got a little tangled up. Yeah. And we're together because we choose to be. Well, no, it's good for us to see, too, you know, because I know I choose you. I choose you, too. And I also choose for you not to be late on your first day. Okay. All right, good. What's on your agenda today? My day is about Emma. I'm going to sit her down when she gets home from school and I'm going to tell her about us. Emma's just a little girl. Is she ready for this? Are you? Yes. I am. But she's going to have a lot of questions. And, you know, how are we going to answer them? Well, I... Emma's... Emma's a bright and loving kid. If we can't explain it to her, how can we hope to explain it to anybody else? You're right. And we'll just tell her that she actually really does have two mommies. You want to rehearse something? Or? Um, no. I think I'm just gonna speak from the heart. Okay, good. I will too. You're gonna be at work. Well, we can wait until after I get home. I think this is um, something that I should probably do myself. You don't want me to be there? I just think that she should hear it from me first and then we'll, we'll sit her down together and we'll talk to her. Okay, now you're right. This is a conversation that you should have with your daughter. So I'll call you. Okay, you come by after work. Have a great first day. Okay. Well, um, I think I'm a little nervous. I have some butterflies. <laughs> You're gonna be great. You're gonna be great. You are. With Emma, you are going to figure out exactly what to say to her. Everything's gonna be fine. Emma loves Natalia, right? Hey! Hey, come here. I'm so glad you're home. I want to talk to you. Hi, Miss Spencer. Hi, Shannon. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Um, everything okay? Emma had a rough day. I just want to explain what happened in case she seems not like herself tonight. I'm a little surprised. She loves camp. I know. She's made so many friends. She participates. I look forward to seeing her every day. And she has three other girls she plays with every day. Right. Madeline, Charlotte, and Nikki. Right. Yeah. They're a nice group. Well, yesterday, they decided they were all going to wear pink t-shirts today. Uh-huh. Emma forgot. When she got there, she was really upset that all of her friends were wearing pink shirts and she wasn't. Oh, well, I wish somebody had told me I would have come over with a pink t-shirt. She has about 20 of them. She told me not to call you. I... She was out of sorts all day. About a shirt? I don't really understand it. That, that isn't like Emma. Y you know what it is? Kids like to be part of the group. Normal, whatever that is. They don't like to be different. Today, Emma felt different, like she was an outsider. It upset her. I just want to let you know. She'll be fine tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is one of my newest authors. She wrote a book called Only Dogs Belong on Their Backs. <laughs> it's about dating. It's great. <laughs> Actually, I, I want to give her a, a lunch, and I want to throw something for her. I just don't know how to promote it. Um, well, what about contacting the local animal shelter? You know, putting dogs up for adoption, be like doing a public service, but still getting the name of the book out there? Ooh, Diane, I like that. Yeah. Gives us TV coverage, a lot of press. It's very, very, very good. You're natural at this. <laughs> Olivia was a fool to let you go. <laughs> Why did she? I know we both decided that it was just for the best. You know, we needed some time apart. Time apart? Mm -hmm. um, for press materials, how about uh, a stand-up with the author and one of the homeless dogs? 
time apart. That that sounds like you were very close. Well, we still are. You know, when I ran into you and Olivia at the spa, there were a lot of rumors circulating. They were true, weren't they? Oh my gosh, why didn't I see this before? I cannot believe it. Emma's two mommies are a couple. Do you want to take this job off her back? What, are you kidding me? No. I want to throw you a luncheon. You and Olivia. You can't be serious. You're not shocked. You're, you're not... You're not upset? That you chose Olivia over me? A little upset. Oh, stop it. Do you know how rare it is to find anybody to love? We're here for a very short time. I gotta tell you, next time, if I am lucky enough to find that, I'm gonna grab it with both hands and I'm gonna scream it to the world. Just like you're gonna do at our luncheon. No, no I, th I thought you were joking. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's the right way to do this. You get it out once, you deal with it once. Yeah. Otherwise, people are gonna be whispering about this for weeks, months, maybe years. No, I can't, I can't believe I'm talking about this right now. Yeah, no, you can, you can trust me. You can trust me. All right, I know what you've heard about me, that Blake's blabbermouth and I can't keep a secret, but I'm a really good friend. And when I say you can trust me, I mean it. Let's figure out a date. Let's just, like, get a tentative date. Oh, no, 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 I mean it. I can't, I can't do that. I, I really appreciate the offer, but there has got to be another way. Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. Rough day at Camp Jellybean? Kind of. Yeah. Come here. Hop up here. Hop up. Okay. Look, I know that you want to look like all your friends and be like all your friends and that's that's normal but um the most important thing em is that you are who you are because that's perfect even if that means you might be a little different than others difference difference fine i don't want to be different when you're different kids treat you like you're weird What color t-shirt did you want to wear tomorrow? I'll just put it right here. Green. Green. Green it is. You feel like a snack from downstairs? Yes, please. All right, then. Go get something. Wait, you wanted to talk about something? Not today, OK? Not today. Go on. At first, it doesn't work. Now it does work, but it's hotter than hell. It burned the moussaka. I thought, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I'll let some fresh air in. Hi, I see books. I asked some of Blake's clients. Yeah, how'd it go? <clears throat> um, she knows. Blake knows. I know, I'm, I was really worried too, but she promised that she would not say anything until, you know, we were ready. To yeah, it. sweetheart, I think it's gonna be in the 11 o'clock news. But it shouldn't matter though, right? I mean, you had your talk with Emma today, so how did it go? Uh, well, she came home and she was tired and she was like a lot of sorts and I just, I, everything that came out of my mouth, it just sort of came out wrong. Didn't go well. I chickened it out. I'm a little concerned about this because I don't want Emma to find out the same way that Rafe did, you know, without warning. I know that Blake knows. It's, no, I'm sorry. She tell one person. It's just going to be all over them. town in a few days. <sighs> but you know what? Even if she does keep her promise, we have to figure out a way to be together without having to 
justify things to people or explain everything to have. What about this? What if we declare our independence and, and without speeches and anything fancy, what if we go to the Bauer barbecue? Together, like together, together. Together, together. Is that okay? I would love that. <laughs> it's a date. Yeah, and then, well, you know, we, we would sit Emma down before the barbecue and, and explain We'll things. sit her down and we'll explain everything together. Yeah. So, is it settled? Yeah. <laughs> Fourth of July, Independence Day. I'm sorry, the smoke is really getting yeah. to me. I'm so, I'm, give me one second, I'll be right back, okay? Oh, ouch. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, fuck. Sorry, would you do me a favor and get us a big piece of cake and some ice cream? What's the occasion? I'm happy. So you haven't looked as happy since, you know, since, since, you. since me. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Actually, what stinks, Buzz? Did you leave the pizza in the pizza uh, oven again? Uh, it's the stove. The door won't shut. It won't turn off. It won't turn off. I got this regulator thing coil, and I don't have a, no idea where the damn thing Probably is. Probably goes on the refrigerator. That would explain it. Yeah. Hey, hey Natalia. You okay? Yeah. Just got a little sick. From the smoke? I think so, yeah. I mean, what else could it be? Did you eat something bad? No. No? No. Well, you're not warm. Maybe it is just the smoke. Or stress. Oh, telling Emma about us. My stomach has been in knots all day. Here you go. Thank Thanks. you. I want you to know that Natalia is the most amazing employee. <laughs> I know. Do you think you'll be feeling well enough to come in this afternoon, though? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. I am, I'm, I'm actually just going to stop at home first. I have some cookies and brownies to wrap up for the church. Father is going to help me pick them up, though. So as soon as I'm done with that, then, then I'll be right by. Don't you think that's Great. kind of overdoing it just no. a little bit? No, I, I really think it'll make me feel better, you know, get to the church. So, Okay. You know, thanks so much for helping out. This is awesome. Oh no, thank you for coming by here. I just I'm starting a new job, so I just have a ton of stuff to do. <clears throat> no problem. Hey, are you feeling okay? You look kind of pale. Yeah, yeah, no, you know what? I, I'm just I think I'm just a little run down. No, I haven't been sleeping very well. Yeah. How's Rafe? He was I was kind of upset the last time I saw him. Yeah, well, it was his birthday, and uh, he didn't really want to spend it with me. But, you know, he's living with Frank now, and I'm really grateful because I think it's really good for him. Maybe that's why you're not feeling well. Because my son doesn't want to live with me? No, because the reason he doesn't want to live with you. Please, please don't. What? Just stating the obvious. Your lifestyle choices are putting a conflict not only with your church, but with your son. If you're feeling sick, maybe it's the weight of those choices that are finally starting to get to you. Ashley, it's the wrong fork. <clears throat> Mom, stop it. We've been doing so well today. Well, it's just that I love you, okay? That's, I just want the best for you. That's... Could you come up with another excuse? You've been using that one my whole life. 
Hi. Oh, hey, Olivia. Be careful. Don't use the wrong fork. Ashley. Goodbye, Mother. Have a seat. Thanks. I'm sorry you had to hear that. I, uh... Ashley just asked me for a new reason why I'm so hard on her. Sure, no problem. I'll just tell her the truth, that I can't be myself around her because I have been lying to her my entire life. You know, I'm sorry. It, it's just not going to go away, Natalia. Okay. You believe something, and I believe something completely different. Now, I just, I, I just don't believe that God is judging me because I love someone. Well, what about the problems that it's bringing in your life, starting with your son? Are you suggesting to me that I pretend that I don't have feelings for Olivia because it would make my life a little bit easier? My life would have been a lot easier if I gave Rafe up for adoption. Just because something's easier doesn't mean it's right. So no, Father Ray, the decisions that I've made, I feel, have made me a stronger person. So if I'm sick or if I'm a little run down, I don't believe it's because of the choices that I've made. I understand why you don't want to come out publicly because of your political position, but Ashley's, she's a grown-up, and she's your daughter. Why don't you try telling her? Exactly. She's my daughter. She rejects me. What if she doesn't? You've never tried telling her? Well, I didn't say that. I did try, once. It was about 10 years ago, maybe more, I don't know. And. Uh, I don't know, it was when Hollywood was coming out and there was a lot of publicity and I thought it would be perfect. So I started the conversation and I don't know, when it came time to say it, I just couldn't. I told myself that yeah, she was too young and that I should wait. And I've been telling myself that ever since. But aren't you afraid that she's going to find out from somebody else? Yeah. Only now it's worse. Now, I'm not just telling her that I like women. I'm trying to justify that I've been lying to her all these years. Oh, yeah, that's why Natalia and I agree that we should tell Emma. And it's, it's scary, but I'm hoping that because Emma sees Natalia's family already, that it might help. Well, I certainly hope that you handle it better than I have. You know, I never got to wish you a happy birthday. How's the new job? Let me, don't do this, please. We're not friends, okay? I don't like you. All right, all right, you don't have to like me, but um, what you're doing to your mom, Rafe, it's, it's wrong. No, no, what you're doing to my mother is wrong. You know, your mother, she's, she's uh, spent her entire life dedicated to you, taking care of you. And when you were in jail, she was so miserable. She had this calendar and she would just mark off the days every day that you were gone. And all she wanted to do was to spend your birthday with you and you blew her off. So you can hate me all you want to, but maybe you need to grow up a little bit and put her ahead for once. Yeah. Okay. Uh First of all, almost everything I've ever done has been for my mother, okay? And what about the church, Olivia? All right, when I was a kid, she would drag me to, to Mass every single Sunday. Why? Because it was important to her, and now it's important to me. And so I'm worried about her, and you can call me immature if you want, but I'm worried about what's going to have to happen when she has to answer to God. Okay, so what's next? Well, uh, you were not feeling very well. Are you okay? Oh, I'm much better. I'm much, much better. Are you sure? I don't want to, I don't want to push I'm you. I'm fine. Okay, well then let's, um, get to this press release okay. and... You know, I have to say, I usually can walk into a room and immediately spot who's together. And I didn't pick up on you two at all. You're really not going to tell anyone, right? No, no, I'm not. I said I wouldn't and I won't. It is very complicated though, isn't it? But I like you, I do. And Olivia, I, I've never seen her so happy. 
Oh, excuse me, I have to take this. <clears throat> Blake Marler? Mm-hmm. What's wrong with me? Okay, I'm not going to pretend to be some expert on religion. But if your mother can come to terms with this, then why can't you? Because you don't get to do that, Olivia. You don't get to pick and choose. You don't get to change the church just to fit your needs. That's selfish. Okay. Well, um, your mother stood by you when you were in juvenile hall. She stood by you when you were in prison, so you're going to have to figure out some way to get past this. What if I can't? Can I feel sorry for you? Do you rather spend your time judging your mom instead of loving her? I mean, honestly, your reaction, it almost split us up, but we realized that what we had is important to us. So I really should be thanking you, because in the end, you made us stronger. <laughs> I can't believe I'm having this conversation. Um, whatever. Hey, Philip, it's me. Listen, I need to talk to you about Emma. Actually, it's about all of us. Natalia? I'm okay. I'm so sorry. I just, sure? my stomach's still just... A little, I don't know. Well, what, what are the other symptoms? Are you, are you hot? Do you have a fever? No, I'm just, I, I'm just a little tired and and sick to my stomach and and I've thrown up. Sorry. Well, that's funny. <sighs> funny. <laughs> well, if if I didn't know that you were together with Olivia, I'd probably say you're pregnant. Let me let me get you some cold water. Mind if I join you? Is there anything I could say that would stop you? No. It's not because I'm, you know, just a pushy person. It's because you're such a such a nice guy. Listen, I, I wanted to say that I think it's great that you asked Rave to move in with you, and uh, not just because he needs a place to stay, but I'm sure he can really use someone to talk to. The poor kid's a little confused right now. I'm just trying to help him figure some things out. It hasn't been easy for me either. No, I can't. And you know what? You could encourage him to hate us, and, and no one would blame you, really. I don't want Rafe to hate his mom. Maybe just me, just a little, little bit. I don't hate you, Olivia. And I don't want Rafe to hate you either, all right? I try telling him that, you know, there's no point in being bitter about the past. I just hope you can learn not to be bitter about the future. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good. Great. Yeah? I'm fine. I threw up a couple times this morning. I don't... Oh, sorry. Do you... No, no, no. Here, sit down. Sit down. Thank uh, you. Um, let me let me just give you some some water. Oh, there thanks. you go. I just I don't know. I, I think I have maybe a little food poisoning or something. Sorry. Yeah, food poisoning. Yeah. I mean, I guess we can't be pregnancy if you're with Olivia. So. Um... Could I be right, though? Is there a possibility that you're pregnant? <laughs> possibility? <laughs> that would be amazing. Are 
You know what? I just lost my appetite. Wait, wait. Wait, wait what? Well, what is this, a victory lap for No, you? no. Lee, I didn't come over here to make you feel bad. I swear I didn't. I just... I, 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 I've been where you are. I, I, you lose someone that you love because they choose someone else and it hurts. And, and the worst part is, is you, you, you can't just turn that love off. What do you want me to say? Nothing. Nothing. I just want you to know that I'm so sorry. And I feel terrible that I had any little part in breaking your heart. Oh, you've done that before. That must have felt good to say. It did, actually. And I'm not apologizing. You shouldn't. You don't have to worry about Rafe. The most important part is him getting back on track with his mom. Agreed. I'm glad we had a chance to talk. Now that we're being honest with each other, yes, I do still love Natalia. And I know she loves you, yes. But there's one thing I don't know. And that is, are you the right person for her? Not because you're a woman. Just because of who you are. Hi, Frank. Hi, baby. Hey, honey, how are you? Are you coming to the barbecue? Um, you know what? I'm not sure. I, I, I might have to work, so. Well, we hope so. It wouldn't be the same without you. I gotta go. See you, Michael. I'm gonna make these. What you got? Oh, red, white, and blue crispy treats? You know, that mm -hmm. sounds great, but you have a play date with Julia today, remember? I know. You can ask them to help. I'm sorry. I, I really didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> I just, I thought that it, it hasn't been that long since you broke it off with Frank, so I thought maybe it, it might explain a, a pregnancy. But it doesn't, because you're so Catholic. I know that. And, and people have told me that. I mean, people have told me what a strict moral code you, you have. But still, you were going to marry Frank. And I just assumed that you were sleeping with him. I mean, you know, who gets married without sleeping with someone? Right, you do. I'm not doubting that. I know that people exist that are strict about sex. I just thought they were all over 90. <sighs> Blake, my, my relationship with God is... Is very important to you, I get that. Well, no, actually, I don't get that. But I do respect that. I don't think I could do it. I mean, I just don't think I could date somebody without having sex. Does this mean that you and Olivia... You haven't had... sex? I mean, it, it, it's just how would you know that that's right for you? That this is, that, that you're meant to be together? Okay. <laughs> I feel much better. So, let's just not talk anymore. Let's just, let's get some work done. Okay. Just some okay. work. Okay, Havenhurst checks into his hotel tomorrow. You and I told you how demanding he was, right? Yes, yes. But I've already collected all the bios for the journalists that he's going to be speaking to at the junket, so they will all be ready and prepped in his room when he checks in. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. Hi. Hey. Hey. No, you cannot steal her to go work for you at the beacon again because she is too invaluable to me, and I'm not letting her go. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to steal her. I just want to borrow her just for one day. Is, is this about the beacon? No, the beacon I can handle. This is right up your alley. Emma wants us to make these for the Valor barbecue. Oh. Well, um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be here working until 5. Hmm. Oh, no, you can leave. You, I insist. I insist. You have done so much for me already to help me catch up. You go. go. Sure? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. See ya.
What's wrong? Nothing. No, nothing. Okay. I just want to let you know that I'm, I left Philip a message. I want to tell him what we're planning on doing. Yeah, you told Philip we're going to tell him about us? Mm -hmm. What happens if he disagrees? Well, then we'll know before the barbecue, right? Got to be realistic. There's bound to be somebody there who's not going to be happy to see us together, whether it's Rafe or Philip or anyone else. Okay. That doesn't scare you? No. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. My opinion is I'm happy. Okay. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, red, white, and blue food coloring. We might have to go to a specialty store for that. No, no, no. Ah. Oh, <gasps> coloring. This is why we yeah. need you, because you're the expert on patriotic baked goods. Yes, yes, it's true. Oh, you know what we need? Um, marshmallows. OK, I can get marshmallows. Okay. Nothing. What? No, I called Philip and I left him a message. I guess he didn't get it, or maybe he's yeah. ignoring me. But anyway, I'm gonna call him back. Okay. I, I forgot something. What? I had to run back in the store and get it. But go ahead. I'll I'll be right behind you to make your phone call. Okay. okay. Time moves and echoes. Life hides and shadows. Got your messages. Oh, good, cause cause I didn't get yours. Excuse me, I'm gonna I'm gonna unpack these inside. Thanks. Bye -bye. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm trying to do this co-parenting thing. I can't do that if you don't return my calls. I know, and I'm sorry. Um, I had something that I had to take care of, but you're right. I should have called you back. I'm right. Yeah. And I'll, I'll try to do better. Okay. You and I need to figure out how to respect each other because I, I need your help. Okay. Emma adores you and she needs you and we need to be able to get along for her sake, you know? So you need to mark your calendar off, you know, her sweet 16, her prom, her graduation. I expect you to be there, each and every one. I just want to give you a heads up before I talk to Emma. And I don't think that you can change my mind, okay? Okay. Natalia and I have made a decision. We're going to sit Emma down and we're going to tell her about us. She doesn't know? No. No, she, she, she doesn't. But we're going to sit her down, we're going to talk to her, and then we're going to go to the Bauer barbecue together. Say something. You have one request. <laughs> I figured. If you could arrange it so I could be around when Rick figures it out, I'd kind of like to watch his head explode. It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> hey, like I'm, I'm not making fun, and you know I, I, I've already told you I don't have any issue with you and Natalia. You know. I think she's great, and as long as Emma is happy and she secure, is. I know, I know, and so I say go for it. But you know, you're you're gonna turn a few heads at the barbecue. You know, people are gonna talk. Oh, I know. I can see you guys hanging around the grill with your little grill tools, making stupid frat boy jokes. There probably will be some of that. Although you never know. People may just look at the two of you and say, "Look how happy they are." I don't really care what people say. I just, 
Oh, look, if Reva showed up with a woman, I would make a few jokes myself. I don't want Emma to hear anything. Well, if I hear anybody say anything bad about you in front of Emma, don't worry, I'll shut it down. And, and Rafe and Frank, too, because they don't deserve that. No, I'll, I'll do whatever I can. Okay, thanks. Mm. I think everything is going to be okay. In every direction, my attention scatters and stalls. It's hard to stay focused, I know you see it all. Okay, Emma, 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 we're not going to start without you, okay? Five minutes away, I got it. I'm excited about the barbecue too. I'm very excited. Saucepan. It's next to the pots, and we need glasses, but we need butter. We need butter right? and wax paper. Okay, butter's in the fridge. And, and wax paper and, and the jar, I know. Excellent. Now what? Now Some we mystery. need a spatula. Okay. It's in the sink. Might need to be washed. There you go. This is gonna be so exciting. I hope everybody at the barbecue loves them. They're gonna love them. They're gonna love, love, love them. Are you kidding? Can we do the egg toss tomorrow and then the three legged race and then eat five hamburgers each? Yes, yes. And no, we're not gonna eat five hamburgers. It's gonna make your tummy sick. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's going to be a great 4th of July. It's going to be the best one ever. Really? Uh-huh. I never heard you say that. You always complain about barbecues. You say it's too hot, your feet hurt, and the food stinks. What's your point? Do I say all that really? Yeah. Why are you so into it this year? Because... I'm gonna be with my two favorite girls in the world. How could I not be? <laughs> oh, here, read that to mommy. She can't see. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mixing. She is upstairs. Her tummy's not feeling so good. Okay, give her a minute. Maybe I should go check on her. All right, go check on her. Maybe, maybe you have food poisoning. That sandwich rate was a little dicey. Yeah, I don't think.
think it was the sandwiches. You couldn't start making the Rice Krispie treats without you. Oh. Come on. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You guys worry too much. I'm fine. See? I gotta think you look a little pale. No, I think that maybe it was just the heat today and I didn't drink enough water. But I'm fine. Did you get everything all, all set and ready? Yep. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't you just, why don't you go lie down and the, the treats can wait? No. I'm fine. I promise. And we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna make the most patriotic Rice Krispies anyone has ever seen. All right. All right. Okay. I'll guard the marshmallows because somebody tries to steal them. Who? Who, you? Awesome oh. map. <laughs> Will you do the three-legged race with me? Me? What about what I? I got my leg already. Look. <laughs> no offense, but Natalia's faster, and I really want to win. But you can be on Rafe's team. Oh, I can. Can I? Fine. I'll be on. I want to be on Rafe's team. You know that? I want. I want us all, you and me, and Natalia and Rafe, to be a team one day. Not just at the barbecue, but every day. It's perfect. Should we try one? No, we can't cut it. It's supposed to stay perfect for the barbecue. Oh, well, you did an amazing job, Emma. I had help from you. What, what happened to me? What did I do? <laughs> Nothing? Do you, you go wanna... get ice cream now? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> we'll all go. How's that? Well, actually, I'm going to hang back here, just clean up a little bit. But you guys go. It's okay. ice cream. Would you take that out? Put your hands under it, baby. Under it, okay? Take that out of the car and I'll be right out, okay? Okay. So, um, I was just thinking and realizing as we were doing this that, you know, we're, we're a family because we do things together. And not that I know much about the real kind of family thing. This is the first bona fide experience I've had. Me too. That's why I know when we talk to Emma, everything's gonna be okay. Olivia. It will be okay. Because she loves you so much and you love her, it shows. I just know, I know this is gonna be a great day tomorrow. I can't wait, I know. What is in there? A Ferrari? No, even better. An oven. Courtesy of some anonymous benefit. It wouldn't be you, would it? Oh, you know I love you, but I, that this stove oven thing is not my specialty. It's more Natalia's. Are you okay? Yep, great. Why? You look incredibly happy. Oh my gosh, call a doctor. Okay. <laughs> People are beginning to see that little twinkle in your eye. You're gonna have to think up some explanation. No, no, I'm not, because Natalia and I, we are going to the Bauer Barbecue together. Together? Is it together together? Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> so you already told Emma? No, 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 we're gonna do that tonight. But then after that, she and I are gonna get on with spending our lives together and being happy. Natalia. Hey. Are you okay? Like you were right. I'm pregnant. Oh, you're pregnant. So it was before Olivia and I even, you know, told each other how we felt. This is Frank's baby. When did you find out? I just found out. I took a home pregnancy test. I really need, you can't tell anyone. I won't, I won't. Frank is my friend, but you are my friend as well, so I, I, I just want to help. I, 
I, I think you should get checked out. You should go to Cedars and, 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 and take a real test because these home pregnancy tests, sometimes they're just not accurate and who knows, maybe you're not even pregnant. I was just picturing the look on people's faces when we show up at the barbecue together. I mean, I know <laughs> that Reva is going to have a crack or two. <laughs> and Alan. Well, you know, um, Philip understands. He supports us, so he'll have our back. I wonder what Ashley's going to say when she hears. Maybe she'll be the first one to congratulate us. Maybe. I am a little nervous thinking about it, though. No, that's the point, right? No, I mean, I want people to see how normal we are. How we're just like every other couple, except unlike half of them, we actually like being together. <laughs> you are absolutely giddy. I think I need another drink. You can have what I have, you know. Yeah, sure I can. And I can also wear a size two. Natalia and I weren't looking for this, it just happened. And, and, and now I, I can't imagine my life without her. When we're together, it's like things are how they're supposed to be. And I've never felt this way with anyone else. Not just for the water. Thank you for being here with me. You're going to be fine. You know that, right? Mr. Vera. Oh, hi. The blood test confirmed that you are pregnant. How far along is she, doctor? Well, we'll schedule a sonogram to determine that, but I'd say at least several months. Congratulations, Miss Rivera. If you have any questions, please let me know. know this sometimes we just don't see it it should have been pretty obvious I mean the symptoms the nausea and the dizziness I, mean, <laughs> I think maybe I did know and I, maybe I just didn't want it to be true I'm gonna I'll be right out sorry. Listen, Emma's going to be home from a friend's house in like a couple of hours. I thought that we would order some dinner and have a regular, you know, family night, and then we would sit down and we would talk to her together. Oh, that sounds great. I just, I can't do that tonight. Why? Um, something came up. Is everything okay? Yeah, of course. No, yeah, I just, I have to take care of it. Okay. We'll just, we'll tell her tomorrow before the barbecue. I'm really looking forward to walking in there together, you know, like a real family. And I know I'm being a big cheese ball, but um, I'm just so happy for us. Me too. Okay, well, call me later. I love you. I love you too. Are you ready yet? I don't want to miss the games. The barbecue hasn't started yet. We have to wait for Natalia, too, right? Can I go now, and then you guys can come later? How are you going to get there? Oh, on the bus. <laughs> I don't think so. Why are you so smiley? Because this is going to be a great day. A very special day for our family. Hi. 
It's me. You almost ready? No. I'm gonna wait outside. Are we not, we're not leaving yet. She's probably flagging down the bus. Um, she's really uh, climbing the walls trying to get to this barbecue. I hope we can sit her down long enough to talk to her. You nervous? Natalia, are you there? I'm here. I'm here too. And pretty soon, we'll be together. I'm, I'm so sorry, Olivia. I'm just running a little late. You're not sick again, are you? No, I'm fine. Uh, I can meet you guys at the Bowers. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I wanted... Uh, I thought we were going to talk to Emma. Well, you know, you said she's in a rush to get there, and I really don't want her missing out on anything just because of me. No, but I, I really want to talk to her before we show up together. Well, we... <laughs> Can't show up together if I'm running late, so. Okay, all right, we'll just, we'll, we'll find some time at the barbecue then. Yes, we will tell her then. Okay, so, um, I'll see you guys there. Okay, this is it, you know, tonight we're gonna be together and we'll be a family and, um. You and I won't have to wait anymore. Okay, all right, well. Let me, let me get going. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Bye. <sighs> okay. Where are we going? Okay. Do you yeah. need to sit? No, I just I need to. Um, I don't know. Honey, are, are you having morning sickness? I don't know. Now? Like, I don't. What am I gonna do? I don't know. I, I, have Have you talked to Frank? Have you told anyone? No one knows. Oh my. You know what? I do, I have to go. I have to meet Olivia at the barbecue. So, do you want me to go with you? No. Um, I will see you there. Okay. Okay. What do you got there? So it's me and Mommy made them. Oh, wow. You must have a really great mommy. <laughs> she can hear you. That's okay, because I don't think I ever told her that enough. <laughs> can I see? Mm -hmm. Can I take one? Yeah. I'll take one out of the corner. Can oh, I go past the zen? Very sticky, I know. Oh, yes, you can. Look at that, honey, I don't think these oh, are big enough. Oh, you can eat all that. <laughs> Just, uh, go ahead, I dare you. <laughs> You're just a ray of sunshine today. You making up for lost time? Wish I could. Thanks for the kind words. You deserve it. These are great. Well, Natalia helped. She she bakes. Did you tell him about two of you yet? No, no, we're going to do that together. She should be here soon. Go on. <laughs> Is it Rafe? I miss him. Well, he's going to be at the barbecue. He is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was a little surprised myself. He says he's going for the free food, but I know he's looking forward to seeing you. I'm headed over there. Can I give you a ride? Oh, I'm not ready to go yet. Not right now. Yeah, well, um, he'll be glad to see you. Oh, I want to see him. He misses you. Frank, 
Thank you for being such a good man. I'll see you at the barbecue. These. Don't you dare, Emma Spencer. It's only water. Well, Bill looks a little heated. Why don't you go cool him off? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! oh. <laughs> try, try again. Let's see? <laughs> yeah! You better run! He's so strong! <laughs> you better run! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Did you squeeze this? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Olivia seems really happy. Yeah. Yeah. Run, Emma! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Olivia. Do you know, know where my mother is? Uh, she, she's not here yet, but she'll be here soon. She won't miss it. You look like you could use a cold lemonade. Thanks. Thanks for getting Rafe here. He actually came on his own. Oh. Well, Natalia will be very, very happy. Yeah, I just, I just ran into her, actually. She said she was, uh, she was on her way. Good. an extra little kick in this, Olivia? No, no. I'm just very happy to be celebrating Independence Day. Natalia? I thought you'd be at the Flower Barbecue. I'm supposed to be there. I'm on my way now, if, if you want to join me. My cousin Danny and his wife Michelle are in from out of town. I am so excited. I haven't seen their kids in Is ages. Is it a bigger I... sin to love a woman or to have slept with a man outside of marriage? I'm pregnant. And I don't know if God is trying to punish me because I love Olivia or trying to tell me that I should have married Frank or both. Sorry, I usually turn this off when I come in here. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. I just can't even think straight. I don't... Olivia? I can't talk to her right now. I don't think God's punishing you. Or telling you you should have married Frank. Olivia and I had just decided that we were going to tell Emma and that we were going to go to the Bauer barbecue together. And then this happened, and I, I just, I can't believe that this could be coincidence. You know, I think it, it must mean something. I agree. It happened for a reason. What? If I knew, I would tell you. But the road to that answer is a journey you're going to have to take by yourself. I saw Frank before, and I couldn't, I, I just couldn't tell him in the thought of telling Olivia. I'm, I don't know what to do. I, I just don't know what to do. Look, look, maybe, maybe you should go away for a while by yourself, try to th figure things out. It just sounds like running away. Now run towards something. Get yourself to a place of peace. When you find it, you'll know what to do. Hmm. I could stand here all day and watch this. Everybody's so happy. Just 
having fun. Yeah, it's a good day. Natalia here yet? No, but she'll be here soon. She really makes you happy. Yeah. For the first time in a while, I can't wait for tomorrow to get here. You know what I mean? Let's go, the fun is this way. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I tell you, I need a wife. Yeah? I tell you, Olivia might be the one. She's been checking me out all day. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, I uh, tried that the know, other day, but it didn't work. That's not gonna work out for you. Look, guys, you I'm a doctor. Watch and learn. <laughs> Eating out of my hands. <laughs> really? Couldn't help but notice you today. <laughs> nice! Very nice. Rich just got whacked in the head with a frisbee. You see that? What's a bar of barbecue without an injury, is huh? That, is that perfect? Oh, I yeah. can't go down. Okay, I'll take it home. <laughs> yeah, that's my niece. Hey, oh. you guys are always on the lookout. Mm -hmm. Well, and you don't? You're not? No, I'm not. It's gonna take a lot more than lighting a candle. Olivia is waiting for me. We were supposed to go to the barbecue together, and now I just, I, I don't know what to do. You know, you really should think about going away for a while by yourself, think things through. I know a great church retreat where the sisters would love to have you. I just can't believe this is happening right now. Everything was going really well. Was it? What do you mean? Think about it. You find out you're pregnant right before you and Olivia are about to announce to the world that you're a couple? And now I'm having Frank. You're having a baby with Frank. You're gonna have to deal with that. I know. I just, I don't know, understand why everyone always has to get hurt. Let me make arrangements for you at the retreat. I know you mean well, Father. I, I do. I know you mean well. It's just that it just that's just running away, and I can't do that to Olivia. Listen, if Olivia loves you, if she really, really loves you, she won't be afraid to let you go for a while. Or are you the one that's afraid? Me. Maybe you're worried that if you're not around Olivia, your feelings for her will change. Is that why you're so anxious about leaving? Okay? No. I usually, uh, I just come here and pray. Um, it usually makes me feel better when I'm really confused. You don't feel better? Blake, I'm pregnant with the baby of the man that I didn't marry, and I'm in love with my best friend. My son doesn't want to talk to me. I have to go. Where are, you, where are you going? I think, uh, I think I'm leaving town. Hey, Natalia, it's me. I... We're here, you know, the, the kids are having a water gun fight. Rafe and Emma are soaked. You really don't want to miss this, so hurry up, okay? More than I can wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't, you can't just say you're gonna do something like that and then do it. Okay, I know. So what do I do if I stay here? I don't know. I know that you, you, you have to tell Frank and you need to talk to Olivia. I can't, I am too ashamed. I don't know how to talk to Frank. I don't. I don't know what I would tell Olivia. Honey, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you. I can't. This, I, no one can. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't do anything just yet, okay? okay. 
Blake Marler? Hey, Blake, it's Olivia. Olivia, hi. Um, what's up? Um, well, I'm, I'm at the barbecue, and uh, Anna was wondering where Natalia is. I, I just was checking. You didn't give her an assignment, did you? Uh, no, no, I gave her the day off. I made sure that she had today free. Oh, okay, well, I, I, I just don't want her to miss the day. I'm sure you'll see her eventually. Oh, okay, I gotta go. The, the water attack is advancing. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. How is she? She seems good. Actually, she's looking for you. Do you want me to? I don't know. I don't, can, I, can I call you? Yes. Jellybean. I want to run the wit race with Natalia, but she didn't show up in time. I know. I'm sorry. She's late, but she's she's gonna get here. Okay. She has to. Hey. Olivia's at the barbecue. She's waiting for you. I don't know if uh. If you're going, but uh, if you are, I'm not sure I want to be there if you guys are together. Honey, I know how uncomfortable you are around me and Olivia. I just, so you, you just bailed? No, I mean, I, I tried, but I just kept thinking I'd turn around and, I, and I'd see you guys holding hands or something, and I don't, my, I, just, I don't know if I can deal with that very well. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Ah. I get it. All right, I don't get you and and Olivia. I don't. I'm, so, I'm sorry. This whole thing just has me a little bit confused. You know. That makes two of us. What did that blanket ever do to you? Hmm? Nothing. I just I thought this day would be different than it is. Really? Well. Uh... There's still a lot of this day left. I mean, there's uh, speeches and fireworks and that kind of thing. All right. Okay. You're right. It's not over yet. I'm just um, being me. <laughs> what did you want this day to be? Perfect. But Natalia. Emma! I wanted to run a three legged race for Natalia. She missed it. And I just hate to see Emma disappointed. Still a lot of games to play. Don't give up hope. Hey. I thought you'd left. No, yeah, I'm going back. Just wanted to see if you were going to show up at all. Because I want to be able to be prepared if you and Olivia are going to... We're not. All my life, you tried to, to guide me by certain beliefs. And even though I may not have always lived up to the standards or to your standards, I needed them. And that's kind of what makes this whole thing so hard to accept. I'm sorry if, if uh, that let you down. You could never let me down, Rafe. You know I love you much. Even if I don't like anything that you're doing. I love you too. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Looks like Emma's having fun, huh? Oh, she is. <sighs> Olivia, I have a message for you from Natalia. She's she's not coming. She can't. Is everything okay? Where is she? She doesn't want to see you right now. Did something happen? Or... You know what? She's going to have to tell you that herself. I'm... No, Blake, come on. Don't do that. No, Olivia, I am really sorry. I'm really sorry.
Are you sure? All right. Let's go on inside. We'll get you back. 